Hello! Alright, I finished my Divine Beast. I was doing... Uh... What was it? What's the one with the camel? I forgot. I was just doing it. Um... Naboris. I was doing Naboris, and I just... I was supposed to do it today, but I got so sidetracked with so many things today that I didn't get a chance to play at all. Like, I got pissed off because my mom's a bit of a collector in the nicest way possible. My mom likes to collect things. And I mean just everything. Like, she thinks we need it, she's going to take it. Um, especially if it's on a sale. Which is usually fine, except for when you start piling up with buckets and play pens and dog food bags. I don't know. She just kept collecting things and they kept going in this, in our, in our... Our laundry room and the laundry is so small. So I was like, fuck it, I'm gutting this laundry and I'm cleaning it because we'd also had a bit of a pipe problem and there was water coming up and it stunk. So I finally cleaned it up and I wanted to fix the legs on our washing machine because it was literally running away from us every time we turned it on. But I couldn't do it because I got weak woman hands and I couldn't twist it. So I had to wait for my brother to come home and do it. And then I went and mopped the entire house because it pissed me off how dirty it was. So I got, I was a smidge busy. Just a smidge. I got carried away with it and then I didn't get to play any Breath of the Wild. And then when I sat down and played Breath of the Wild, I was like, oh, I stream in 10 minutes. Hi, Boifi. Hi, Julia. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I hope you are having a wonderful Valentine's too. I spent it cleaning, and then work decided to move when I work. I'm not working tomorrow, I'm working on Friday. Yippee. But I also figured out that, um, I, un I now understand what work's doing with me. I was like, why am I getting so little hours? It's because they only really put me on when they get big stock in, so that I can sort through all the stock. So do you have a valentine? Maverick. Maverick, my valentine. Although we're putting our valentine celebrations to, um, the weekend. It's just busy, busy, busy. Also, thank you for the peeps that followed me while I was offline. One of them being my own bot that I was trying to set up. I was trying to figure out mix it up. M mix it up bot? I think I did it wrong, because it's not working. <laughs> like, at all. I couldn't get it to work. And it's... And it works with most VTuber things, so... Um... Hi, Magic! But yes, thank you, Miranda, for the raid. I really appreciate it. I, yeah, I was, I was beating the Boris. So now, after stream, I'm gonna fight, um... Wind Blight Ganon, I think it is, which apparently is really easy. I had my ass beat in the Yiga, Yiga Clan hideout like so many times because I'm so bad at sneaking. But, <laughs> I thought about streaming the game, but I'm really bad at puzzles and I don't need people to see that. No thank you, Resident Evil is hard enough. It's uh, embarrassing enough. So yeah, that's why we're gonna be nerds and play Hooked on You in a sec. I think I might go make up a Animembergy drink. So I'm gonna put this on for you nerds for a sec while I do that. Otherwise, I'm gonna fall asleep tonight. I'm tired. And... There we go. Oh, let me see if it auto continues. Yep, cool. Alright, do that for a second and I'll be back. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, I think I just accidentally snorted some of the powder. Yeah. Oh, yep. That's in my nose. Yeah. That's better. Okay. Sink them last hits, and then we can get back to it. Wow, what? Oh, you were very close. That was a big round for round one. Okay. We'll just go to the game now. Um, let me pause this. Please read the terms and conditions. Yep, yep. Totally read them. Oh my god. No, come back. Oh. Okay. Smash. Smash. I think the only one that I didn't really hugely enjoy the design of is Ray. <laughs> Okay, link account. Link what account? My DVD account? Why would I link my DVD account? Oh, yeah, I was so sad. I get an outfit. I'll do that later. I don't, I don't care. Okay. Do we have. Sweet, sweet, sweet. New file. What shall we call you? Holdy. Can't have my real name. I won't let you have it. I've seen Miss Mac play like a smidge, like a small bit of this. I think she also went Huntress Root. Cough, cough, cough. You wake up on the beach soaking wet, salt water stinging the inside of your throat as if you'd nearly drowned. Water falls from your mouth as you open it to gust for air. You have no memory of how you got here, in fact you only remember your own name, but not where you came from or a single fact about your life. What you do know is that, despite the outrageous beauty of the landscape around you, you feel incredibly sick to your stomach. Cough, cough. Wow. You really down, went down the wrong path, huh? You need a minute or can I go on? <laughs> Sorry, was I interrupting you? I can give you a minute. We've got plenty of time. Ellen's time, really. An eternity, if you catch my drift. Well, not now, Ocean. <laughs> Sorry, Halsey, may I continue? What? What is happening? Is the narrator, who was me, fighting the ocean? Please, go on. Okay then. As I was. Cough, cough. <laughs> As I was saying. Look down at your feet, ankle deep in the crystal blue water of a newly arrived wave. As the water recedes back into the ocean, it reveals a grotesque discovery. A decomposing face stares up at you from beneath the sand. All you can do is vomit a stream of dark bile, bugs, worms, and other ick. Questions rush through your mind. Where are you? How did you get here? Who is behind this incredibly charming and well-spoken voice in your head? However, answers don't come easy. Your mind is completely blank. What will you do? Run, close your eyes, dig up that face. Um... Oh, it makes noises. I can play the bongos. What do I do? What do I do? R dig up that face, close your eyes, or do I run? I'm kind of curious what that does. Okay, so I have a head. You brush the sand away from the half-buried human head uh, embedded in the ground before you. Ooh, a coin! There is no body. Just this head. As you pick it up, flakes of the skin fall of the ground. The jaws falls open, revealing a gold coin sitting on the rotting tongue of this poor dead soul. Getting hands to me. You <laughs> see? I like that. You take charge, take charge type. I am. I just wanted to see whose head it was. Examine the gold coin briefly. Happily distracted from what has otherwise been an extremely confusing morning. The sun beats down in you, drying your clothes. You check your pockets, but they're empty. Plenty of room for a gold coin, you suppose, and you deposit it. Why, well, that's a nice coin you've got there. What if you were to spend it right now? No thanks. Why not? What is what does it do? What what is Stop giving me choices with no contact? I feel like that's like 90% of this game. Gamba, why not? Oh my god, they're so cute! I forgot they got these outfits. Well hello there, I'm Dwight. And I'm Clement. 
We'll take that. Oh, my coin. Claudette quickly releases you of your gold coin and tosses it to Dwight, who bounces down on it like an old timey prospect of handing it back to her. And this is for you. Oh. Okay, that that's a pretty good trade. Claudette presents you with a tropical drink. When you take a sip, you find it you find that it's incredible. Money well spent in your estimation. But I gotta ask, could somebody maybe design the next one of these dating sims to be all inclusive? It really takes some of the fun of the fantasy vacation to be Watching your wallet the entire time. Thank you for the delicious drink. This is suspicious. Spit that out. No, I'm drinking it. It looks good. Thanks for the drink. It's quite delicious. You're welcome. Why was there hesitation? Did someone just thank us? Go with it, Dwight. It's normal to be thanked for doing a good job. Just trust me on this one. Your mind doesn't have a chance to linger any longer in your current situation. You feel a soft bump into your foot. Feel something soft bump into your foot. A volleyball? When you look down, you find a volleyball sitting in the sand there next to you. You stare down, frozen. A small voice calls out behind you. Oh, it's Huntress. Oh my god, it's Huntress. I'm ready. It's okay. A little help, please? You turn around, and when you see what's waiting for you, your drawers just about hit, just about hits the ground. Mommy! <laughs> uh, yeah, he's there. Mummy! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's there. Nah, I w nah. I would eat this man up. Why did they do- why did they do Wraith so dirty? Four gorgeous monsters stand halfway between you and the well-tainted volleyball court. A well-tended. Why? Why did they do- <laughs> Why does Wraith look like that? Everyone looks so cute, and Wraith looks so weird. You're not ready? I'm not ready. I would let Huntress crush me between her thighs like a watermelon. You know the videos I'm talking about. Each of them oozes the undead energy and magical aura reaching out and penetrating you. Via your eyes. Did they have to specify that part? Your heart begins to race. Curiosity, fear, desire. You can't help but stare at these casually dressed. Let's call them killers. I don't know. Not to be judgmental, but that's just the energy they put out there. <laughs> So many, so many comforting feelings rush through your mind at once uh, that you are completely paralyzed. Hello? There are weird days and then there's this. All you can do is look down at the ball and back up at this monstrous line of, well, literal monstrous. Sexy ass monsters, though. What do you do? Pass it back, kick it back, say no thanks, say nothing, do nothing. Um. Can I just look a little longer? Thanks. Get out of the way of spirit. Spirit's kind of cute. I'll kick it back. You swing your foot awkwardly and strike the volleyball, sending it bouncing across the sand towards Huntress. Yay! It doesn't make it all the way. Everyone stares at you, silently observing your unsportsmanlike shame. Hey, come on. Those who are earning, have you ever seen a volleyball before? That's surely what I'm wondering right now. It's not a soccer ball. What a dork. You feel so awkward that you can barely see straight to the haze of your embarrassment you can watch Wraith looking at you from the corner of your eye. Well, he can look away. Huntress drops over so I grab the volleyball and you'll turn back to head to the court. Alone again, you look across the beach at these strange residents who casually bat a volleyball back and forth, ign happily ignoring your intrusion into their private beach. Should you be frightened? Worried? Excited? I did refer to them as killers. Not to give too much away. At the same time. They're looking very appealing in their own way, and nobody so much as lifted a blood-soaked finger in your direction. Don't be scared, Woolsey. You were made for this. Well, geez, if the spooky ocean voice says not to be scared, I'm sure it's all gonna work out. For no good reason not to, you decide to head over and see what happens next. Hee-hee-pee. <laughs> oh my god, I can't just look so good. Seems like you've derailed the volleyball game just by showing up. Isn't that great? Oh. You derailed the game just by showing up, nitwit. And I guess you're also a nitwit. Oh, this is going great. It's just best that you just go with what Trapper says when he says it. It's a policy I hold for pretty much anyone who always seems to have fresh blood in their hands. It's not blood, it's ketchup. <laughs> hey, don't worry about it. It's just a game. Existence, that is. Besides, you seem a lot more interesting than a silly game. What's your deal? What brings you here? 
You mean they're here to do more than distract from my total domination? Deep sigh. Yeah, you seem like the guy that would sigh. You look like a sprinkles guy. <laughs> that was right. That sigh means he's done with the game too. Either that or he's a butterfly or something. Like, I don't care why this slack jaw moron is here. Yeah, leave me alone. Oh no. I just don't know. Can I kill them or not? You know you can't. At least not yet. Oh, not yet. Hey, Hilzu, you might wanna, you know, say something. Actually, never mind. There'll be plenty of time for that soon enough. Right now, this group has some questions for you. But be warned, answer quickly and answer well. This is a time quiz and it'll be very important later. No, don't do this to me. Very important. Don't do this to me! Oh, not important anymore, it's ever. Probably that one. I can't remember. Why would you do that? How, would, how attractive would you say you are? Very, not at all average. Okay, average. I'm pretty average, I think. Just another face in the crowd, another normal means of life in an endless cycle. Wow. I think you <laughs> she thinks I'm cute. Like a chipmunk or a grizzly bear? What? If you could have any superpower, what would it be? Invisibility, no hesitation. Same, although sometimes I think I already am. What was your best subject in school? It was maths. It's the only thing that makes sense when you think about it. Ah, oh, God, Wraith, please don't fall in love with me. What's your favorite animal? What is that? A dog, a cat, a... What? I need to search that. But well, I'm going with cat. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's like a little... Weevil thing? It's like a weevil. You're the cutest. No, you. What? Why is everyone looking at me? You think just because I'm the typical cute goth girl, I have some specific love of all things cats. More specifically, black cats. Well, I do, but you can all go to hell anyway. Yeah, that's fair. What's your favorite color? Three-day-old corpse? Blood red or blue? I'm gonna go with red. Some call it the color of love. But love is just uh, another word for pain. Oof. Wraith, stop. What's your dream job? Astronaut, nightclub promoter, not working at all. Um, I'll be an astronaut, I think. Hard to imagine being further away from anyone than floating in space. It's called inky vastness of nothing forever. Best flavor ice cream? Vanilla chocolate or horse flesh? I thought it said horseradish for half a second, and that was believable. I'm gonna say horse flesh just for funnies. Mmm, horse flesh. I mean, uh, ocean sounds. My favorite flavor is pain. Same. Same here. Mine is vanilla. It's filled with pain. I think mint chip is the greatest flavor I've ever conceived myself, but enough about ice cream, am I right? Hold on a second, this reminds me. I am right. Anyways, it's a lesson you should learn before we go too much further. Do what I say if you want to survive. Pick mint chip. No. Teaching lessons now, narrator, you rascal. Kill or be killed is the rule on this island, even for faceless voices. Tell me, what's the best way for ice cream? Mint chip. So obedient. I think you're gonna do just fine. Anywho, now that they know so much about you, I'm sure the group wants to... wants you to start getting to know them. Oh. I'm Trapper. I'm pretty much running things around here. I'm the smartest, richest, strongest person on this whole island. I don't like losers. <laughs> if you want to know what a loser is, say hello to Ray. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ray. I'm nothing like everyone else. I like nice people and loathe big dumb idiots. Hey, what's up? I'm Spirit. I don't like most things. I don't really hate most things either. It's not worth my time, but the things I do hate, I really hate, you know? Based on my personal observations, life is nothing but suffering and society is a- Whoa, what is happening? Carefully calculated lie to keep everyone subservient to those in power. It's better to choose to just not take part. Oh, okay. Jesus, like she was downright murdered by society. She hates us so much. Well, that's true. Her whole backstory is very much... Yeah. <laughs> oh, no way. I'm remembering Swiss right now. That's exactly what happened. Hey, I'm Huntress. Don't let these bombers get you down. I love her. There's lots of fun to be had on this island, along with lots of love. 
Mummy. Mummy. Yeah, there is, if you know what I mean. Grow up. Grow a body. I've explained this a thousand times. I'm dead, but I'm not a literal ghost. I just create a trail of fog. I'm not made of it. Whatever, fog body. That's not nice. He's not nice. You love it. Only sometimes. This... I feel like I'm getting in the middle of... It's not a triangle. It's a square. This feels like a really weird square. Ew, really? That's disgusting. That's why she likes it. Don't speak for me. I also hate it. Stop speaking entirely, actually. For the first time ever, I agree with Ray. Let's move on. Otherwise, this'll, they'll do this all day. Besides, if I know this crew, and I do, don't want to show off soon enough. If we're done playing, let's do something else instead. Wow, for once I actually agree with this meathead. I say we go to my yacht. You have a yacht? It's the massive boat docked nearby. You have a boat. I'll give everyone a taste of luxury and power. Wraith rolls his eyes. Don't mind him, he just hates fun and happiness. No, I hate endless desperate souls. Crushing pursuit- uh, Soul crushing pursuit- uh, Pursuit- I begin. Stop making me talk! Of <laughs> wealth, the way it's flaunted needlessly in the cruelty of- uh, It in- In- uh, In- Gender- uh. What about hanging out by the pool? I find the water calming, simple, beautiful. Hey, what about our volleyball game? We can exercise and have some fun as a group. Are they all serious? There's a perfectly good lounge to chill out at right here. I'm tired, and besides, I hate being in the sun. Where do you want to go? Wait. Volleyball. I want to go with her. I want that one. Hate that I interrupted your game. You should finish it. Yay! <laughs> I love to play outdoors. I also love to meet new people. I also love to bring them home to play. I'm sort of a big kid at heart. Obviously, you are too. I like you already. I hate people who are way too serious. They ruin everything. I forget Huntress's story. She literally just adopts children all the time. Well, oh, well, they do if they... If you don't handle them swiftly. Hold on. Just for one moment. <coughs> this is Dwight and Claudette, our activity coordinators. They're also the cooks, waiters, bartenders, janitors, and every other job. They're the only help remaining on the island. This place we call Murderer's Island. Cue dramatic musical flourish. They're too hot. They're, my <laughs> They're rendering you illiterate. There's so many words. Why is there so many words? I'm just going to mark for clean. <laughs> I'm surprised no one's played the audio. Uh, I keep doing it. I'm just like, mummy. Mummy. Is there any way to actually, can you enable like a narrator? No. I don't want to talk so much, it hurts. Oh, I can save though. Okay, musical flourish, go. Oh, none of the others survived. Ahem, survived the interview process, I mean. Hence why we shall refer, uh, here to four refer to them as survivors of the capital S. Wait. Yui? These two have worked here a long time. So very long. I don't actually know how long it's been. Sorry. Anyways, I should probably let Dwight and Claudette do their mandated jobs. They sure look happy, but they're vibrating with a nervous energy that's sudden to give me the creeps. Yeah, that's just Dwight in general. We will now escort the group to the venue of your choosing. However, in the future, we recommend waiting for us to, pre to present you with your options whenever possible. Don't just run off to various activities unsupervised. Uh, I will. We don't have much um, autonomy around here. I can't. Words I've never seen before. The least you can do is allow us to do our job. The most you can do is help us get off this I Dwight. Yes, pardon me. Follow us. Hey, narrator. Yes, something I can help you with? These two, Claudette and Dwight, did they start to mention something about wanting to escape? Is escape an option? Should I be trying to escape? Escape? Them? Oh, no, 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 no. I think you're mistaken. Seemed like Dwight was asking to, for help to get off this island, though. Oh, right, that. Yes, that's true. He was. But he just meant that he wants to go to the other vacation island getaways. A couple miles south of here. It's much fancier accommodations than this island. 
It's one of those big corporate outfits, quite uh, quite exclusive, where all the famous celebrities hang out. Very luxurious. Doesn't quite have the charm that this island has, though. Trust me, you wouldn't want to go there. With all that money comes a lot of restrictions. This is where you belong. Now, now, off you go. It's time for an activity. On this island, your decision matter mostly. When I agree with them. Not like that other island. So what'll it be? So what'll it be? Um, I'm a huntress. <laughs> Take me back! Wow, it's so exciting to have someone else in the athletics in the island. Spirit and Wraith is so boring, and Trapper is so predictable. Relying on brute strength to win games, he has no respect at all for grace and skill. I would have clocked her as brute strength too. Thank goodness you didn't choose a yacht. What kind of person wants to be sitting duck in the middle of the open ocean? You just asked to be a snack. sneak attack from an elk. An elk? Underwater? See, if you said moose, I would have believed you. <laughs> I wondered how long it would take for her to bring up an elk attack. Keep yeah, setting up again. Make sure you're watching close. This is really something, huh? Elk don't swim. Swim in the forest long enough and you'll see an elk swim. Leave you me. Cheer for me, cute stuff. <clears throat> Killers resume their place in the world and resume the match they were playing before you arrived. Hey, fancy a lemonade? I see you working up a thirst. I mean, those bouncing... what? Bouncing buns playing volleyball. Well, that hands you your lemonade. Oh, so fresh, so tart. She leans in and whispers in your ear. Who would you bet on to win? Hmm? Who's the MV MVP of your little heart? You're nervous, so you don't want any of these killers to hear you talking about them. Or not talking about them. If they're into that sort of thing. Just pick someone, please. It's not like we've got all day, night, week, month, year, lifetime, eternity or anything. What? Who put sand in this guy's shorts? <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, I think. Um, Hunches. Hunches. Oh shoot, Hunches overheard you. <laughs> You've got your eye on me? I'm flattered that you think I'm good, but honestly, I'm a little annoyed that you've been so flashy with uh, I'm a little annoyed that I've been so flashy with my moves. Usually, I'm so sneaky that you can barely see me at all. That is a good point. Hunches is totally kicking my butt. Correct answer. I'm allowed to support the other people on this island, right? Oh, jeez. I have no idea what the rules are here. Are there even these rules? I um, should have stayed in my secret, uh, my secret Larry. Wow, what a game. It's a tie! Can it even be a tie in volleyball? No one knows since this is everyone's first time playing. These killers don't usually have time for team sports amid their busy schedule as broody league tearing survivors to shirts. Is Claudette crying? Are you okay, Claudette? Probably just shedding a tear for her lost fellow survivors. You know, this resort had four employees when it opened. Who? 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 Who were the other ones? Well, it's probably... what are the original? Meg and... Jake? We could have had four of them? It's nothing, I'm totally fine. What do you say, boss? Oh look, the killers have uh, dispersed and they're all calling down in their own way. Spirit is reading a novel, Trapper is stretching sensually in between chainsaw girls? Wraith is standing on the beach desperately hoping that the sand will swallow him up and Huntress is doing some target practice with her bloody hatchet. Why is Wraith the way Wraith is? <laughs> you feel a nudge. Dwight is looking at you expectantly. You should really make a move. Life is short. You can get snuffed out at any time of day. Cafe DM, Cafe PM, Cafe Nowum. Go ahead. Chat one of them up. Switch killer has caught your eye. Oh, I warn you. Which one you pink? <laughs> you head over to Huntress. After all, this whole sporting hangout thing was her idea. Might as well see how she's doing. You were really great out there. Where'd you learn to move like that? Whose moves? My moves? These moves? Then nothing. Hate. <laughs> it's too spicy in here. Hunter's blushes a bit from beneath her mask. It's cute on cute, if you ask me. Sometimes you gotta look past some blood stains. Oh yeah, there's blood on her mask. <laughs> Sorry, I wasn't looking up there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a lot of men have run for their lives in my presence. You really learn about what the human body is capable of. Of in those types of scenarios. I feel like I should be doing... Is this you from Russia? No, I'm not doing a Russian accent. <laughs> no, well, I'm not even gonna try. To try and keep that up on stream, no thanks. 
I love to exercise in a way. We're all running for our lives when we keep in shape. I guess I've never heard of fitness that way. Don't swing that like that. <laughs> Maybe it's time to start. You never know who's coming for you through the bush as fast as they can. Propelled forward by hunger, desperation, or just plain old boredom. We have lots of water, sounds like you yeah. really <laughs> read this whole stream. I'm the <laughs> Shut up! Thanks for the hydrate. <laughs> I'm gonna need so much water. Doesn't seem like boredom is going to be a problem surrounded by all these characters. Survival, on the other hand? You're gonna need to compensate for your lack of killer instinct. What's your style? Imagination or grit? What? Choices? What do these mean? Grit? I might not be strong, but I'm tough, you know what I mean? Like Chewy? <laughs> like Chewy. Don't eat me, Huntress. She did not seem to know what you mean. Like, ready for anything, to do whatever it takes to survive. Oh, sure. Like, hold your enemy's head down in the river until the shouting stops and the rushing water takes his life away. You are the reason the body was there. Maybe not anything, but I'm ready for a lot of things. Get ready to impress, because we're just getting started. When everyone, fun, fun and games can't be over already. I get it, I get it. Volleyball, not ruthless enough. Look at us. We crave action. We crave excitement. We crave the thrill of the hunt. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. It's time to see if our friend here has the hunter's instinct. Oh, no. So used to fanning me like prey on the volleyball court, Halsey. Ooh. Ooh, I'm gonna melt into a puddle. Not just where it's a bloody act in the air and you step back and there before you realize she's not waving at you, she's handing it to you. Don't worry, I've got several of these. It's important to hone your skills, especially when you're in a new place where threats may lurk around every corner. What? You need to make sure that you are the biggest threat of all. Don't aim those things at me. You can't even see me. What? Any games consist of two parts. On top, a point in which rotates in a clockwise direction. In the bottom, a target you're going to be pointing at. Sometimes the target is immediately visible, sometimes it's hidden until the pointer arrives. Press the space to stop the pointer well, over the target to win. Fail to land on the target and you will lose. Mini games. To achieve a perfect success, land on the start of the target and not the end. Okay, ready to play? Would you like me to repeat that? I'm ready. Away we go. Show them what you got. Ah! I win! Yes! Oh no, it's getting harder. Perfect. Oh shit. DBD. <laughs> DBD has trained me well. Oh, that wasn't so good. Oh fucking hell. I'm impressed. A worthy opponent. I got an achievement for that. <laughs> I mean, could have been better. But who's keeping score? For the record, I am. And you got eight points. Catch a throwing? Cool, I guess. I like my stabbing to be a bit more up close and personal. Somewhere a loud horn blows and five is snap into action. Time's up. You heard him get to the next activity. Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. Okay, Claudette. It seems like the next activity is meal time. I got quaint. You're expecting what? After the flag? Do you know how complicated it is to run a game like that? Much more so than sitting and talking? You arrive at the cookout area to find an assortment of picnic tables scattered around. What were you expecting? Some kind of grand hall with a huge banquet table? This ain't some prestigious fancy epic like you'd find on cable. Um... What was I supposed to be expecting? Bright and Claudette ask you to your seat, but there's very limited seating directly around you. Oh. And oh, great. Terrific. It seems that everyone wants to sit next to you. Even better is that they don't want to sit next to certain other people either. To start, no one wants to sit next to Trapper. Meanwhile, he refuses to sit next to Wraith or Trick Trickster. No comment. No comment. No comment. Yeah, Trickster is here. Surprise? Yeah, well, they don't call him Expected Stir. I'm sorry, even I get nervous around crowds of killers. My whole shtick gets a little flustered. 
He has an inflatable bat. That's hilarious. Hey there, you're looking good, Halsey. Real good. And we literally can't let Huntress and Trapper sit together. No, seriously, their arms are too big. They can't fit at the table if they sit side by side. This is like me sitting next to the left side of my boyfriend. For real. He elbows me. <laughs> yes. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Mom came in and gave me chocolate. <laughs> I'm glad she didn't look at the screen for too long, so I'm a little embarrassing. Look at this, you can't even fit everyone on screen <laughs> at the same time. You probably think it was an error, but it's not. It's completely intentional. Let there be a lesson to you. Every area you think you see is a choice. Got that? Yeah, I've played DBD. There is no bugs. They're just inten unintended features. <laughs> okay, Dwight and Claudette are uh, directing traffic. You sit at one side, the rest of them will sit opposite you. Huntress and Trapper can't sit at the ends with their enormous sexy arms. Now that everyone is seated, we can begin dinner. The nice meal was prepared slowly and carefully, um, with both love and hate for 12 hours over a spit. We hope you all enjoy it. We really, really hope you do. Hey, you didn't actually tell us what you're serving. What are we eating? It's meat. Seasoned with a specific number of herbs and spices that we simply can't divulge. My favorite. Meat is good. Meat is murder. Right. Wraith, you are a murderer. Stop being so weird. Which, you know, considering what you've been up to. <laughs> Who are you to get judgy now? Exactly. I'm just, I'm just sharing facts. I need to murder someone to eat meat. So that's like technically true. Technically true is the best kind of true. Yeah. Enough yapping. Let's eat. Hey, Halsey, you thinking what I'm thinking? It's gonna be a person on this bit, right? Or several parts of overlapping people, perhaps. I haven't seen many pigs wearing plain button... Oh, wearing palm tree button down prints, you know. When you look closely at this bit, you spot what definitely appears to be scraps of fabric sandwiched between some layers of meat. Ooh. I think I might be sick. Is there anything else to eat? This took 12 hours. And we do literally everything on this island. <laughs> <coughs> There's one thing you're not doing today. You're not carving up this delectable meat. Oh, He's out for a change, because I am with my broad axe. It's the perfect tool for easily chopping anything in, in twain. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Who says twain? Sometimes it's very like we're all from completely different historical eras. Hmm, that's crazy. Second, I'll handle this with my cleaver. Fast, powerful, and clean. At least it's clean when the meat is cooked. No blood. You two and your ridiculous bicep swinging contest. Enough. Grow up. Seriously, my gorgeous katana. Oh, finally, we see it. It's the only thing. It's the only option. Obs. Obs. What the hell is that? I'll show you both my katana and send you to actual hell if you'd like. Please stop. Please, I hate when we fight or talk or even when we look at each, look each other in the eye. I can do it. I have the skull of Azarov. Yeah, we know. You're a freak. Great, instead of slicing it up, you can club it to a second death. <laughs> hey, Jose, I know this isn't what you wanted to eat, but hire up and volunteer to cover up Felix. I mean, dinner. Felix? You spit roasted Felix? Yeah, I would too. Otherwise, this will go on for hours. No half of all. They once argued over who had the most effective weapon for 72 hours straight. And it doesn't matter which one does. Uh, which one does it? When they're done, they will take even longer cleaning their weapon. All while ex explaining the value in maintaining your tools. Despite being a bunch of cold blood kids, for some reason they're always terrified of tetanus. <laughs> Wait, why don't you mean that? Why don't you just let me carve up dinner? Splendid idea, would hate for it to get cold. He hated when it got cold. Here's a machete, freshly sharpened. Why do you have that? Let me, I just want to eat my chocolate. Just let me eat my chocolate. Just give me a sec. Oh, that's cool. Oh, Cacti models look nuts. Man, you should see them in DVD. The fact that I don't see huntresses running around in this outfit, piss me off. 
Actually, I don't see anyone use the outfits. Alright. Let's do this again. Where are you? Oh, one. Well. Two. No, oh, that was okay. Oh god, it's getting hard. Oh my god. Yeah! She's really cute. That was pretty good. I'd like to see what you could do with a less clumsy weapon. Yeah, I said it. Machetes are dumb. Dinner is finally served. For real. Oh. The sounds, especially coming from mask killers while they eat, which involves lifting their mask and shoving food up behind them, are nasty. Spirit, meanwhile, doesn't even eat. She's the only one who seems to be really, really be embracing being dead. They're all dead, right? This is obviously hell. I mean... Oh, mouthful. Me a minute. <laughs> Come on, we're still trying to be mysterious here. You think mysteriously comes easy, Claudette and Dwight are the only ones who've been working their asses off to make this night perfect? Mm. Well, at least they're lifting their masks. This is only 99% as disgusting as it could be if they just tried to mash this stuff through there. Spirit, why aren't you hungry? Two best things about being dead is not having to eat. That's only one thing. Think about the whole year. Number two is no number two. One last thing to think about in the afterlife. Even if I wanted to eat, I have no idea what would actually fuck. Oh, okay. <laughs> you might have noticed, but I'm mostly just a bunch of dis <laughs> dismembered body parts floating in a spectral form. Do you see how deep this cut of my abdomen is? I don't think my digestive tract connects anymore. Hmm. You got a point. Between the food and the behavior of the script, this might be the worst meal in history. <laughs> Stop staring at me! I'm eating! <laughs> Literally! But even worse is they're staring at you. They're not eating. They don't like that. I think they want an explanation why. What do you want to tell them? Look at that seagull. Oh, have you seen a seagull that big? I haven't. That's incredible. Anyway, what were we talking about? Lame misdirect. Yeah, she's alright, Halsey. Pretty lame. Own who you are. Never compromise. Didn't you wash up on this island with no memory of who you are and how you got here? Yes, you did. Poor thing. You have no idea the last time you ate a meal and you've been standing in the sun? But the seagull. <laughs> but the seagull. Uh-oh. He just made a good uh made a lot of good points. I swear. You're beginning to feel lightheaded. It waved at me. <laughs> Maybe you need to eat to survive here. Either that or someone poisoned you. No, wait, you haven't eaten, so you can't be poisoned. Whatever the answer, you're clearly about to pass out. Oh hey, it's me again. Your friend, mentor, and guide. Narrator, the narrator, the ocean. Not sure how to feel about that characterization, but I'll allow it. I brought you here, and I might be the only one that can help you now. There's only one thing you must do to survive. You have to figure out why you're really here. I'm here to fuck hundreds. No one can tell you. Not unless you follow the right path, or at least a right path. There's not too many of those to count. Hopefully you pick at least one of them. Because there are even more wrong paths. Many of them lead to your demise. Others lead to something even worse. Starting seems over and having to fast forward back to where you were, were am I right? But this place holds many secrets, even from itself. But the one that truly matters can only be learned if you answer the most important question. Why are you here? Why are you here? Answer that and you'll learn the truth. The ultimate truth. Vague mysterious. I gotta give it up to the ocean character. That's some quality early game storytelling. Once you can't handle the eyes on her, she'll combust. Look at that seagull. You waved at me. You, you ask who, okay? 
Hold on, I'm back. One more piece of advice. You've made many choices by now. Some of them I liked, some of them I did not. It's in your best interest to make choices that I like. For the choices might be yours to make, but they're mine to reward. Oh. Mint chip? <laughs> <laughs> you wake up to find Huntress holding your limp body, gingerly pouring cold water into your mouth. Oh god, you're okay! Sometimes when I try and care for people, they have a way of ending up less alive than when I started. Thank you for the hydrate. Which would be a total bummer if that happened to you. It's been so long since I had a normal, happy, healthy living person around. Usually I'm just falling into the same old routine of smashing everyone's head open with a hatchet before I really get to know who they are as a person. But you, you're not easily scared or too busy writhing, writhing in pain to see me for me. She's so pretty. You feel nervous in her arms. Not because they may be crushing you a little bit, but because she's beautiful. Yes, beautiful, but I was just going to narrate that fact, not, you know, say it out loud as a single word like some creep. <laughs> beautiful mask, your bunny mask, it's quite gorgeous. Nice recovery, but now that you're awake and talking, you got to keep this up. Did you make it yourself? You're the first person ever asked me that. Yes, I did. You seem so quirky and cool. <laughs> what is happening with her toes? Oh. Oh no. I regret some decisions. What what happened? What is happening with her toe? Spirit's looking real nice right now. You could do anything. Own an Etsy store, be a doctor. Why is it that you kill people? Punch her size. You can practically see the memories flicking across her eyes, but she hasn't tried to kill you yet, so that's a good sign. It's all I was ever taught to do as a young girl, so I thought it was right. Even through the mask, you can see the Huntress is blushing a bit. It seems like your line of questioning has made her a little nervous. Hey, you didn't eat much dinner. Want a snack? Oh, I got a little excited. A little too excited. <laughs> she offers you some jerky. Probably human jerky. But her spice game is on point because it smells pretty damn good. Yes. Well, in Meadows Island, you might as well eat as the killers do. Plus, you really are hungry. You can chow down on jerky sensually, right? No. I'd love some. After a moment of quiet chewing on what you choose to believe is not human thigh meat. It's long pig, okay? It's different. Kind of. You decide to be bold and ask another question. Have you ever been in a relationship before? Damn, straight to the point. <laughs> Dang, you're really going there? You do not play around, Halsey. I, uh, hmm. Huntress takes a moment to think deeply before answering. I must say, it's quite amusing to see this hulking bombshell get all twisted up with the personal questions. Kudos to you, Halsey. There's this one deer that looked to me qu oh. Really? No, that does not count. <laughs> quite provocatively in a clearing once. That doesn't count, does it? You hear the faintest of giggles bubble out from behind Huntress's mask. You're so cute, Huntress, but no, it does not count. Whoa, what's this? You found something in the sand? Huntress reaches down to pick it up. It's a hair clip, probably left by some little girl who's playing on the beach long ago who's definitely still alive and not dead at all. Huntress closes the bag of jerky with the hair clip. Seems like she's a little mixed up on how exactly this particular item works. Should you go over the flow or show off your knowledge of advanced human ink? I will show her. You silly goose. Yeah, that is something I would say. You chuckle before reaching for the bag of jerky. You take the uh, barrette off and collect the lock of Huntress's hair, clipping it back into an attractive- That is not what I intended to do! Much better. I was just- I thought I was just gonna close the bag. <laughs> Huntress is so happy that you taught her something new about human trinkets. She touches the clip in her hair with a shy smile. Just as things are really heating up, you hear a flurry of footsteps behind you, and you quickly spin around, ready to fend off who, whatever new danger has popped up on this strange island. Only to find that it's Diane and Claudette sprinting across the beach, clipboards in hand, which they're waving in the air above their heads. It's very important that you stick to the itinerary and attend each event as scheduled. Playing sick for cute floats points is not part of the evening activity. Wow. 
Porky may like you, but I don't. Don't piss me off. That's strictly slotted in for after campfire stories. At this rate, we'll be late. Playing sick? No, I was... No time for excuses. Well, there is, but that's scheduled for after what comes after the flooding. Go, 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 go! Thanks, I guess. My bad. Once everyone has gathered at the fire pit, Dwight and Claudette quickly make an announcement. We're not going to blame anyone in particular. But someone. We're not going to say who. So don't worry. You hasn't been sticking to the schedule. That means we're behind on time for evening activities. And we'll only have time for one person to share their special spooky nighttime story. Just one story, but some... But story time is my favorite activity. This is a narrative heavy experience. You're telling us the only person who gets to share, how will we decide who? Oh great, we have to decide as a group that never goes well. Whoever did this, step up now. I swear I won't be angry, I'll merely chop a few head clean off. No fuss, no muss. Voice trembling, you realize this This is probably it for you, you embrace your fate. Sorry everyone, I think they were talking about me. People blush. <laughs> to be honest, I still don't understand how the schedule thing works. I guess I lost track of time while I was passed out. Been there before. Even though it's taking some pressure off me, which is an absolute dream come true, is it really fair to pick on the newbie? Seriously, has anything here ever happened on schedule even once? Damn it, Donald. If you try and flex that authority gimmick one more time, so help me, I'll snap your head so snap your head off so quick and I'll drown you in his blood. Cynthia. Bust and muscle back on. You two I know her love to hack slash and slice. We all know you love to kill. It's almost all you talk about. Nobody named names. Who even... Who even knows any names? Not us. I renounce my name. Who's Donald? Who's Dwight? Who even knows anymore? Call me nobody. Are we still... <laughs> I changed his name. Are we still gonna get started on story time, so... Well, who do you think should go? Ah, damn it. That's a name. Please, pick somebody quickly so this tropical va vacation doesn't turn into a bloodbath. I actually kind of want to hear from someone else. For once. I'm gonna go Spirit. I choose you, Spirit! <laughs> Just like a Pokemon experience. <laughs> go, Spirit, go! Oh, it was. <laughs> it was supposed to be that. This entire experience has been carefully crafted to avoid an IP infringement lawsuit. Let's be careful with the cat travers, will you? Give me a sec, my blankie fell. Eh. One second, spirit, and I'll be with you. I have a blankie on my chair, and I can't go down. This is just a real stream of thinking. It really is. They're nailing it. Just awkward person who's very out of place. Who'd have thunk? That's me. Really? You want to hear from me? Very at hearts and dramatically rolls her eyes. As she gets to her feet in front of the campfire. Don't let her talk you out of it. She's great with ghost stories. She is a ghost. I don't know where she gets it, but she comes up with the scariest stuff. Seriously disturbing. Even to me, I literally pulled a guy's skull and spine out once with my bare hands. Talk about bullshit stories. Everyone else is gonna chit chat, I guess. I can sit down and... Huntress's eyes go red behind her mask and both Trapper and Ray take their seat. They know when it's worth fighting and when it's not. <laughs> is that... Can... Do we have voice actresses or something in this game? I don't talk this much normally. Ahem. Well, I hate to break it to you, but tonight's story isn't scary. It's a romance. Too late now, they're all selected. I'm gonna tell my story. <laughs> I call it... The Prisoner's Kiss. I wanted scary stories. You notice the Huntress and Wraith are both sharing a giant tub of popcorn. Nobody offered you popcorn. It was a dark summer night. Warm rain seeped from the sky like blood from an old wound. Detective Hota, Hota? Hota celebrated, um, a celebrated investigator and renowned hostage negotiator was called to the scene of a strange, oh, um, I have a feeling I know, strange occurrence, unlike anything she's ever seen before. When she arrived, the scene was chaotic. Crowds, God. <sighs> mouth is drying. Crowds had begun to gather, 
A dozen other officers were doing everything they could to keep curious onlookers away. But how could anyone resist wanting to know more? For there, in the middle of a busy market, had appeared a giant box, strange alien in its appearance, and massive in size. No one knew how it got there. Was it delivered, built on site, in such a busy area? How could something like this just appear? A mystery. It was as if it was conjured by magic. But this is no illusion, the huge box was very real, and someone was trapped inside. This feels very... Um... Piggy. <laughs> this feels like a sore trap. Spirit pauses her story to look at face to face of each audience member. She has no expression, but you feel her vibrating with energy. She's in her element. Help me, cried someone inside the box. It was a man, terrified, trapped, in prison, his voice trembling. By now, as if every detective in the city was there, looking the strange creature, uh, strange structure up and down, inspecting it on every side. It doesn't make sense. There were no doors, no windows, no fasteners or seams. It was completely solid and much too heavy to move by hand. Solid that is, except for a single small slit, just enough to see the bloodshot eyes of the prisoner trapped inside. I don't know what happened. I woke up and I was here. I'm so scared. Please help me, cried the man as if pleading for his life. <clears throat> no stranger to test to tense situ oh, why is that word killing me to tense situations detective hota confirmed the man uh, com comforted the man she used her training to calm him and buy time for the other investigators however time did not bring clarity only anxiety as the night dragged on with no progress opening the box as the night grew longer the seeping rain huddled on the ground the man inside grew more desperate more sad and lonely more pathetic and in need of help but Detective Hota was no help at all. Powerless to save him, guilt began to weigh on her, like it never had before. Don't let me die in here, the man begged. Don't let me die alone. Stay calm, instructed Hota. You're not alone. I'm here. Hell, half the town is here. We're all in this together. We won't let this be the end of your story. Looking through the narrowest of passageways, Detective Hota watched her own reflection in the tear-filled eyes of the strange, sad prisoner. You know. Together, they both wept in silence at the hopelessness of the moment. Promise? asked the man. Promise that I'm not alone? Yes, she promised. I do. A simple pledge. She felt an instant connection like she'd never felt before. Not to her family, not to her friends, not to any other hostage she's ever worked so hard to free before. And so, when the, eye when the man's eyes closed and backed away, it didn't scare Detective Hota. Which she knew he would return, and he did, pressing his lips to the, up to the narrow slit in this horrible puzzle box, repeating his question again, steam flowing from his mouth as he asked. Promise? Promise that I'm not alone? Yes, she promised. I do. And pressing her palms against the cold outside of the box, without truly knowing why, Detective Hota leaned forward and placed her own lips up to the opening, letting her breath creep into the strange structure, allowing her warm lips to fall on this man's. It was a gentle kiss, a moment of compassion. She could feel this brief contact of beating of her heart, pulsing blood through every inch of her body, match beat for, for beat in his soft touch. Thank you, said the man. No trace of fear remaining in his voice, and he backed away into the darkness, disappearing in a single moment of eerie calmness. Get back, yelled the officer, suddenly thrusting himself between Detective Hota and the box, breaking his silence that would soon be filled with a cacophony of whirring gears and clicking latches. A sympathy of me me mechanical activity happening all at once. Whoa, she looked creepy. <laughs> Where'd your face go? Something had triggered, as if an unseen lever pulled, and the side of the giant box began to slide open. Detective Hota gripped her flashlight tightly and pushed towards the foggy interior of the giant box. Her feet splashed in the puddled rainwater, her heart racing, as she swept her light from side to side. That's when her eyes landed on the man, or at least landed on what should have been him. There, in the corner of the box, was a pile of pieces. Like parts of a doll, almost pulled apart, or perhaps that's just how Detective Hoda had to think of him in that moment to survive. A collection of segments, limbs, pieces, disconnected from one another, cleanly, slivered, cleanly severed and placed in a neat little pile. On top of that pile, a head, cold, pale, eyes open, Lips in icy blue. Spirit stares at the fire, her own expression lifeless, her lips blue. Tills fall from her chin and soak into the sand at her feet. 
You're blown away by the story, and it's safe to say you're not alone. Everyone else is looking in the fire up at the sky. Anywhere but at spirit. It was you who chose her. You who initiated the harrowing tale. So sad. So creepy. So existential. She really went into great teal detail when it came to describing that kiss. Too much detail. And now no one is sure how to act. Dwight and Claudette are staring daggers at you. You have to say something. This game was supposed to be a light-hearted romp. Please, I said do something. Say nothing, hug her. Cool story. Stand up and try and start one of those slow claps. Oh, these are all cringe. Thank you for the lurk, Raven. I appreciate it. Um, I can try and hug her. You stand without saying anything and her spirit reaching her arms around her for a hug. Her robe, hovering in the air, begins to wrap herself around you and squeeze you into her. Kind of like being hugged back, but also like being tied up. It's certainly not what you expected. Instinctively, you pull herself away, but it's an awkward moment and you nearly fall over into the fire. Sarah says nothing and floats away without much of a goodbye. You, meanwhile, realize everyone had just watched this truly strange interaction from the corners of their eyes. On that note, everyone decides it's time to take a break and split up for a little bit so they can all have a moment alone before bed. Everyone leaves and you're alone by the fire. The only thing you hear is the ocean slowly lapping against the shore. This is nice. A true moment of peace and tranquility that lasts for all of seven seconds before... <laughs> because Trick just shows up. And he's blaring his latest song. Hey baby, you look lonely. Mind if I join you? He doesn't wait for an answer. I know you've been hearing um, from these guppies all day, but I want you to hear something from big fish like me. Something special. Something special those in charge of this island don't want you to hear. I'm the ultimate catch in this island, the only lobster in an ocean of sardines. No one can give you what I can. You have to find me. Come find me, baby. Trixie leave. You're a bit confused about me. I want to make your miscrypted clues, but you aren't going to get any time to yourself if you think about them just yet. Spirit approaches you. You know, I was watching you while I told my story. I could tell it was having an effect on you. Oh, I won't say that. It's fog that follows me around. I feel you breathing heavily, taking me in. You and I are both absolutely flat at that piece of information. Legit, you learn something every day. <laughs> and when you were gone, I mean, narrator. You're doing it again, right now. You need to calm down. You should come with the hot tub with me. You're picking the hot tubs with the spirit? You've come a long way in a single day. I'm not saying you shouldn't follow her or an offer like that. Just don't forget our little talk. Wait, do you want me to or you don't want me to? Ah, shit. You and your storyteller friend slip into the water. It's just the right temperature and evening dip. Plus, if some jealous sharks come along and manage to jump from the ocean into the pool, you're also pretty sure your killer companion could handle it. I just want to be totally clear. Even though that story bore some similarities to my life, it was not about me in any way, shape, or form. Not symbolically, not metaphorically, not any other <laughs> I believe you. Completely. Sure, you were kind of pieces in your life. And so was the person in your story. A perfectly normal coincidence. Sure, you're on this island. Trapped, one might say. In a most puzzling place. Also a completely regular coincidence. And sure, his lips are blue. Your lips are blue. Really? You'd call this blue? Just searching for answers, hoping to find... Revenge. Okay, so the similarities stop there, I guess. Coincidences. Sorry, the coincidences. Get this through your head, whoever you are. Samurai blood runs through my veins. Oh well, maybe it has coagulated by now. No need to sweat the details. Regardless, I'm a descendant of noble warriors. Thousands of years of training with bladed weapons precede my, uh, my entrance into this world. Do you know how many swords it is? A lot. You've got to figure out... You've got to figure that with... That many sharp edges, a person is bound to get disconnected from a body part here and there. The truth is, I wouldn't typically share this, so I don't go blabbering about it. I dreamt that story, like watching a movie in my sleep, when I was just a little girl, years before my father sunk his blade into my skin. I've never been able to shake it. It's a very adult story for a, children to, for a child to dream. Do you believe me? Yes? I know we just met, but yes, I do believe you. The way you told that story, it clearly came from someplace deep. Oh! Who told you to trust a stranger? You're gonna get hurt if you don't learn to take better care of yourself. Now you got me wondering. Do I believe you if you believe her or not? What? Do I believe you if you believe her or not? 
my brain and if i know everything because trust me i do know everything don't i already know the answer to my own question if i believe your answer to spirit's question whoa ocean air got me tripping sorry i didn't mean to distract us both what's important is that a certain corpse cutie floating in a cloud of mystical mist might might still be waiting for you to say the right thing and free her from her puzzle box if you believe that she is the damn it got me going again unfortunately <laughs> Before you can follow this conundrum to what will surely be a mind-numbing cycle of new questions, you find a certain two someone standing before you with a fresh towel ready to dry you off. I thought it was gonna be the killers. Anyway, sorry kids, but it's time for bed. I might be the youngest one here, but I'm no kid. I do, however, love being wrapped up in a fresh, clean towel. My mother used to help wash my dry what? help me wash my hair when I was young. She'd come out all the tangles and tie a ribbon around it before sending me on my way. I miss her. You watch the spirit stares off in the distance, her hand gripping into a tight fist. She doesn't notice you're watching her at first. When she catches you looking, she turns away, roughly grabs a towel from Dwight and then pushes him and Claudette aside as she floats off. You head over to the campfire. The heat is comforting on this chilly night. Looking at the crackling embers, you think about spirit's story and about the prisoner in the puzzle box. You managed to escape this place. Will you leave with your life or has it already been taken from you and it's just a matter of time until you make a gruesome discovery? We can dwell too much on your fate, Claudette and Dwight arrive. The now familiar creepy smile stretching ear to ear. It's a bit menacing to see a smile like that lit by fire. We must apologize for the accommodations. We weren't prepared for another guest, but we're going to make you comfortable or die trying. They hand over a pillow and blanket and welcome you to snug up by the fire. That's some music will put you at ease. Just try to keep the volume to a minimum. Our other guests aren't the types you want to rub of their beauty sleep. Ugh. All right, I know your toilet for a second. I have a tummy ache. So let me just switch over to this again. My trusty dusty words on stream. And hopefully that works. And I'll be back in a sec.
Alright, sorry about that. Best thing about working in Sterling can catch some uh, streamers' worst things. I feel like I should go to the doctor, but they ain't open. Wait. Where do you need to go to the doctor? I hope you're okay. Yeah. <laughs> what Miranda said, I hope you're okay. I hope you're not dying. <laughs> All right. Let's get back to it. Let's get back to the narration special. Wee. Okay, mini game time. I forgot. Oh. I'm ready. As you relax and look into the fire, the radio begins to fuzz and flicker. You examine it and decide that you might adjust the dial and fix it. Uh. Oh. Let's, talk about Let's see what's on this station. For us, it means uh, two major things. First of all, the community is you out there. It's sure. You and everybody else either playing the game or talking about the game or creating content related to the game or being inspired by the Wait, game. Wait, who is this? Right music or to make outfits it's everybody that is this is this one of the devs speeches yeah this is one of the devs let's see what's on this station yeah that's better yeah i was stretching my chest popped to the point it hurt to crash down or even breathe Ooh. I hope it's just like a pulled muscle, but yeah, that doesn't sound fun. Let's see. 94. Royalty free music. So 96, I think, was um the dev speech. Let's try 98. It's like a hard rock DVD theme. 102 Music as well 88 Music as well Yeah, that's just music 92 I don't hear anything. Let's talk about our community. For us, it means <laughs> this is one of the dev speeches from one of the um um dev streams. Either playing the game or talking about the game or creating content. I'm picturing him in my head, but I don't know what his name is. I'm pretty sure it's the guy that's like, we've done a pretty good job so far. Everybody that's part of what makes Dead by Daylight this amazingly rich. <laughs> <laughs> it means groups of people who interact on every single possible social platform in person. It means All right, let's turn it off. <laughs> no matter how many things you listen to, you still can't sleep. If you decide to ask one of the killers to spend a little time with you until you're sleepier, who would you like to summon to your side as you lay by the fire? I'm gonna go Trapper just because it seems funny. Trapper, are you around? I was wondering if I could get a little company. Trapper tells you a secret for falling asleep when he's feeling restless. A heavier bear skin blanket is all you need. If that doesn't work, I just I just go for a late night walk and punch the first person I come across. You're a real trauma, Trapper. I'm not sure I'm brave enough to kill a bear or skilled enough to skin it. You're certainly not either of those things, as far as I can tell. Here, hold on to this. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, I got a little charm. Trapper hands you an entire bear's paw. That would be massive. Complete with sharp claws. <laughs> it's like the most aggro version of a rabbit's foot you've ever seen. You finally start to feel sleepy. Except maybe this isn't really a sleepy feeling. Maybe you're paralyzed? You try to keep your eyes open, but you can't. Darkness overtakes you. The dark voice from earlier speaks to you again. It shouldn't be, um, it still sh it shouldn't still be as spooky. But now you've had a whole day of strange voices in your head. This one is still undeniably odd. Really worked up a sweat watching those killers toss the ball around, huh? 
Would it have hurt so much to have splashed around in some cool ocean waves afterwards? I'm just saying. I'm out here, you know? You wake suddenly to see someone looming over you. Why? Why are you here? Boy, what the hell, boy? <laughs> Ray stares at you awkwardly. He says nothing. Just stares. You look around and see if there's something going on behind you or on either side. But nope. Just staring. Oh! You're awake. I saw you with the trapper right before bedtime. Are you making some sort of, uh, alliance? Are you with... Wraith scans the horizon. Them. I'm just making sure. Uh, you are who you say you are. I've been burned before. Something seems off on this island since you've arrived, even more than usual. Uh, maybe we could talk more about it in the morning. It's just... Since you got here, I just... I think... We could have a really nice day tomorrow. Together. It's just, you have no idea how long it's been. Uh, how long I've been here with these monsters. Wraith, you pulled someone's spine out from their head. You're the real monster! <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea either. They're just awful, boring, loud, and stupid. You're different. There's finally someone here in my level. You're thoughtful, interesting, gentle. I think we could, uh, you know... Have fun. Get away from me! I will pepper spray you! I can show you some cool stuff if you want. If you don't, that's totally cool. I get it. No pressure. In fact, probably just forget I was here. Good night. Finally alone, for real this time. Maybe? You drift off to sleep again. Hopefully you're not poisoned. Why? Why did he do it that way? Why did he have, Why did he have to stare? Wait a second, where are we? This isn't- what is this music? <laughs> Just set in. This isn't- oh geez, it is. It's one of those reality show confessional rooms where all of the contestants talk directly to the camera. I think today went really well. That was some of my first interactions with someone who isn't a parent that didn't in end in bloodshed or untimely perishing in my Russian cottage. So I'm counting today as a win no matter what happens. What do I think of the newcomer? Um, I have to say. Oh, I do? Okay. Hmm. Attractive, mysterious. I really don't know many other words since I was raised by my mom in the woods until she was skewed by an elk and had to wash her entrails off my sur surfing? That being said, <laughs> the other three should make sure to be on their guard. I don't know who this newcomer will want to spend their time with tomorrow, but I, for one, will not let my guard down easily. Who knows about the others? Wraith, I think, knows more than he's letting on about this place, but he's a hard nut to crack. Meanwhile, Spirit is just screaming all the time, major buzzkill, and Trapper, oof. What are I going with Trapper? He's buff, sure, but daddy issues much? Sheesh. Yeah. That's a great point. <laughs> Look, I don't need anyone. I've been perfectly fine on my own since my mother died. I eat a fine diet of raw deer, bear, and human, and I'm fit as a fiddle. That being said, sitting with this newcomer makes you think that I might be missing out on some huge part of this thing called life. <coughs> oh, these voices. I'm not even doing huge voices either. This is gonna kill me. If I'm being honest, I just want to kill about every person I meet within a minute of meeting them. Even the few people I can holler, I don't want to see stuff for a long time before I kill them. But this person, for some reason, I'd like to continue living. For now. One false step, and... Haha. <laughs> uh -huh. Well, you know, everyone calls me Trapper for a reason, and they better call me Trapper. I wouldn't call you anything else. <laughs> I swear, if I watch this later, and you list me as Evan, I'm gonna kill the, <laughs> the Sharon guy? <laughs> Sharon. Yeah, today was fun. I don't want to get ahead of myself, or really um, invest in anything that might hurt me, so I don't know. Maybe we'll just see how it goes, or maybe they'll realize I'm not the one for them. They seem pretty smart, so that's probably what'll happen. Oh, he's giving me ick. He's dripping an ick. I want to know how many people actually wife the race. Like, I, I have to know. It cannot be that many. I will learn to go easier on myself. Who could love me if I can't love myself? <laughs> not to quote RuPaul or anything. I know that everyone thinks of me as a beautiful, cold-blooded monster. I can't help it. Circulation just isn't my thing. I don't choose to be cold. This cute hat and robe... Okay, these are a choice, sure. 
If someone were to come around and capture my heart, at least the beats being stabbed in it. Besides, if I'm gonna get bloody revenge on a society that has used me and thrown me away, maybe it wouldn't hurt to have a little help. Yay! Trickster's in this. And it pisses me off because you know how, like, ugh, you know how, how many DLCs they could have made? I could have wiped Oni. Like, all their unlicensed characters, you couldn't, you could have made them DLC? I could have fucked Oni. Life isn't fair. Anyway. You open your eyes, the sun is shining, a little cloud in the sky, and you feel great. Totally well rested. Not even suspicious of the fact that you fell asleep by a campfire and woke up several yards down the beach. <laughs> Wait, are you on vacation? Was yesterday nothing more than a strange dream? No, not a dream. You really are here for another day. Why? I have no idea. You're obviously a weirdo. Speaking of weirdos, I see the rest of the gang is hanging out on the beach. This is definitely not a dream. I wouldn't rule out a nightmare just yet, though. At least they make for a sexy bunch, no? And talk about sexy, here comes Trickster carrying coffee. Where's the coffee? I don't see any coffee. Morning, beautiful. I thought you might like a nice cup of joe to start this incredible day off, right? Oh, there's the coffee. Mm. I'd still drink it. Trickster seems suspiciously cheerful. I'm sure there's nothing nefarious behind this joyful demeanor, though. Anyone knows music? <laughs> you just in the morning, people. <laughs> Hi, Billy Jack. Long time no speak, still playing Apex? I haven't played Apex in a very, very long time. And I'm going to be honest, I'm not sure I remember your username. Apex was a long time ago, Jesus Christ. Anyway, welcome back. This is totally not a very sus time to join my stream or anything. <laughs> I just want to wish you luck. Today is an important one. My only regret is that I won't be a bigger part of it. Budgeting issues. Plus, I'm just swamped with engagements, especially on the other island. Trickster winks at you. If you want to ask him how to reach the other island, now it is the turn. Never mind, he left. Well, at least he brought me a cup of. No, wait, don't drink that. What the hell is that? They don't call him Trickster because he's good on a skateboard. He definitely didn't get the name because he brings people drinks so they can have a good morning. I was almost just certainly not coffee, and I don't want anyone else casually poisoning, imprisoning, and torturing you. Yet. This is supposed to be a tropical paradise. Uh, the type of place you give a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, 2 thumbs up to review it. Um, not an eternal prison of pain. And please, make sure you leave to leave a review. It really helps with the algorithms. Tell me about it. These algorithms are bitches. Just trust me. I'm looking out for you. So can we please move on? Hey, wait a second. How could a possibly omnis... Um, omni... Omniscient, possibly unreliable narrator physically just knock that coffee out of your hand. This is not a parliament, and the floor does not recognize the ocean to speak at. <laughs> out of turn at this moment. <laughs> That's a good one. No need for recognition, for I am the ocean. I dominate the land, I submerge those who defy me and become their watery grave. Actually, speaking of graves, I would like to say something. Speaking of grave importance. Fine, go ahead. Even if this place is an eternal prison of pain, and I'm saying that it is, even a place of extreme horror can still receive a 5 out of 5, 10 out of 10, thumbs up review, if it was crafted with love, and or, that is the type of thing you're into. You know, the ocean is right. A lot of hard work goes into a place like this. You should really judge it for the artist's intent, and whatever's possible will start from the mindset of giving them the benefit of the doubt. Constructing these elaborate simulations, I mean, vacations, it's not easy to do. Sometimes there are small bugs or inconsistencies, but that's just the nature of the process. Perfection is overrated, the universe is filled with mysteries. We ought to celebrate those who venture to bear their souls as part of the creative process within the ultimate intent of making things for our enjoyment, not to be overly critical of them. This feels weird. Are you two trying to sell me on this place actually being good? It's like behavior trying to sell me on their game being good, you know? I'm gonna see how I played with you and Ray Ray. Let's see just what PS4. Exactly, are we playing here? This, so if you know Dead by Daylight, the really shitty um, asymmetrical horror game, this is their spin off of a dating game version of it. Like I said, it's not, not a good time to pop in, say hello, because I'm being suspiciously horny about these characters. That's all. No, oh, the possums are out. Maybe they'd like to help narrate. <sighs>
You don't have to say it like that, especially after I saved you from that poorly made cup of coffee. It was decaf, that's all. There was nothing wrong with the coffee, they just- they used decaf, that's all. Sorry, we should have been here five minutes ago. They always do this on the second morning. Bad, really. Even if they do make some great points. Oh, sure. They make great points, I agree. Can we please move on? Yes, of course. Apologies, Halsey. The last few minutes aside, have you been enjoying your time here on the island? Yes, I've been having a lovely time. Yes, it's been really entertaining. Yes, I'm not suspicious. There's a no option. There's no no option. That one. Yes, I'm not suspicious that there's no no option here. What an encouraging response. And I'm so glad you're not suspicious. Hey, Claudia, maybe Halsey is suspicious because I figured out what they're actually going- What they're actually doing here? Zero chance, they're still clicking. Even right now to see how you respond. Hey, look at that! Yeah, they don't know anything. It doesn't matter though, Halsey. We're so happy to hear you're having fun. I didn't say I was having fun. We're all having fun, Halsey. Do you hear us? We're all having fun! Okay, okay, I'll have some fun. Fuck. We do need to ask you one more question though. We all had to sign away our rights to say well, anything negative about this place. Would you please sign this non disparagement agreement? Where's Dwight Lee? He's about to cry. Sure. Yes, yeah, so I will hereby agree to participate in a verbal contract stating that I, Halsey, will never say anything nag nag negative about my stay here on this island. Perfect. Delightful. Excellent. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Halsey, if it's still totally cool, if you could have constructive feedback, the place to leave it is in the positive reviews, because we all know that nobody reads negative reviews of games uh, results like this. Anyway, I see Dwight and Claudette have gone into a trance, and with the grumbling I hear from your belly, that can only mean one thing. Breakfast. Makes sense now, I thought their name sounded oddly familiar. Oh, well. Um, uh, good to see you, sister. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out, Billy. Appreciate it. Perfect timing. Everyone rolls into the dining area to lot of those sexy little bellies with pancakes and bacon and why did you call them sexy little bellies? Why did I read that? So much for maintaining these beach bods. We're all half naked in a tropical paradise. Can we get some strawberries here? A yogurt? Magical powers will only get you so far. Even killers watch their sodium intake. You take, you take your plate and sit down, thinking about yesterday and the whirlwind of feelings you experience. Danger, dread, disorientation. It was like going through puberty again, except all in one day on a beautiful and mysterious island. It looks like you're not the only one doing some introspection, though. Trapper stands up to talk about how his day went, in case anyone was wondering. Personally, I wasn't. <laughs> Personally, I wasn't. I'll be honest, I didn't expect you to survive yesterday, so congrats, I guess. Whether you survive today is 50-50 at best. Good luck. Well, that was bizarre. Back to your brook. Nope. Now, I'm just... <laughs> steps up to speak about her feelings. At this point, anything could happen. I'm open to all possibilities that the strange island has in store. How open-minded. Oh, well, the Shelly must be it. No one else would weirdly stand up during breakfast to... And just like that, here comes spirit. Did everyone call us... Did everyone sleep well? I did. Or should I say, did not? I haven't slept in 20 years on account of the whole burning quest for familial... Familial revenge thing, and last night was no different. So in that case, it was exactly how it should be. Got a lot of reading done, though. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going back to quietly resenting being trapped here with you all. L well, <laughs> while looking cute doing so. Hi, Virus, how are you? Guessing Ray has had enough time to work up the courage to speak in front of the group. Ah, perfect, there he is. Take us home, Rice. Oh, hey. That was fun yesterday, huh? Yeah, I mean, not like too much fun that would be weird but like a, a good like a good amount of fun and now they're all looking at you expectantly wait are you supposed to stand up and explain how yesterday made you feel uh i think i need to process everything by myself i'll see you all soon damn what a power play keep wanting more you're getting good at this game uh, uh sexy true to life experience shame you didn't get to eat any breakfast but so be it after breakfast, you head to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head. Yesterday was, in short, a lot. Before you get there, though, something catches your attention. You hear that? Who are you addressing? Me? Yeah, the voice in my head. Well, yeah, I guess. That is okay, right? You know, I might be pursuing a relationship with one of these four fine killers. It feels like the person I'm getting to know the most is you, narrator. Wink. 
It's only okay in so much as it serves to illustrate that you've lost your mind, seeing how I'm not real and all. Yeah, I heard it this time. I think it's coming from behind the pool shed. No, no. Stick it in there. A little more, a little more. Oh, yeah. That's it. Yes. Do I? How does that feel? Intense. Nice. Yeah. That feels right. This is... <laughs> This is uncomfortable. Now I want you to take that and put it right there. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Just like that? Exactly like that. I swear I had no... <laughs> I had no idea this two even do a... Whatever it is they're doing. I'm afraid to look. Please say something so you know that close by and can hear everything. Uh, oh wow, look at this super cool bottle of Trickster branded sun lotion someone left on the chair. Anyone know how where I can buy some? Damn it. Yeah, come on, a little privacy, please. Guy is panning and Claudette look, has a crazy look in her eyes. Sorry, I didn't know how else to let you know I was here and then I could hear you and, you know, well. No, what? What do you think we were doing? You were doing, I don't exactly know what you were doing, but it sounded like, um, fun. You think two people trying to find new ways to kill each other in a desperate search to make their own death permanent is fun? Oops. We have five minutes to ourselves every day and we spend it hoping we stab each other at just the right spot we won't get resurrected i've come to believe the key to finding the exact place we need to bleed out from and i believe this is, is in our appendix where else would it be there makes sense to me did you actually think we were me and him dwight you don't have to laugh that hard they get it <laughs> yeah i'm sorry dwight's a twink <laughs> claudette but it did, it did kind of, the way they made it, the phrasing sound, it did sound like Dwight was being a twink anyway. Dwight was on the receiving end, which is very fitting for him. My life is a nightmare and yet somehow it's never been worse than right now. Let's go, lover boy. I know a lot of entry wounds in our five minutes are up anyway. Good luck, Halsey, you're gonna need it. And hey, if you figure out how to escape this island, please make sure your ghost tells us how. That was both a tragedy and a comedy. A tragedy. Shut up, I like it. Anyway, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah. When you're headed to the hot tub by yourself to clear your head, yesterday was in short a lot. So far, today has been exhausting too. <laughs> but you're dedicated to achieving a true, centered self of calm. No drama, no bullshit, just soaking up the sun in a heated pool. Today, you're on a date with you. Ooh, I like that. I want to be on a date with me. Who would make the first move? And aside from that disturbing thought, all is going to plan until a shadow blocks your precious sun. It's gonna be Trapper, right? Spiky tip, like a palm tree is bending over to screw with you. But it's not tree at all, it's... Oh, it's true, so... Damn. It's the other twink! Hey, babe. Breakfast is weird, huh? Everyone is just getting up and announcing how, how they're feeling? What's that about? Some forced kind of chicken with the group? I don't like it. Fishy. Kind of lazy. Whatever, their breakfast is dumb. No one should, no one should eat before noon or after 4 p.m. Yeah, I do intermittent fasting. You seen my abs, by the way? Oh god, I, I would push him in water. Don't intermittent fasting me, you prick. Maybe you can see them later at my private stage on the other island. You know, IP Island, where all the Hollywood celebs hang out. We play at cards, right? I could give you a private show. Catch you around. His abs are pretty amazing. You gotta give him that. And the blow-up bat? Threatening but adorable. Makes for an interesting silhouette. Genius design. He's a psychopath, just like the rest of them. You don't gotta give him anything. And we're not best friends. Just because we don't little talk about doing a little talking, it's not an open invitation to go smashing the fourth wall every five seconds. Okay, now that that guy is gone, and we've got some ground rules established, and that we're definitely going to abide by, it's time to lay back, take some deep, slow breaths, and nope, another shadow. These people will not leave you alone. Let's see who it is this time. Ah, yes, hunches. That makes sense. And you have two have gotten pretty cozy. We should get out of here, you know. I know a place that's quiet and out of the way. No one will be able to hunt us. I mean, hear us out there. Doesn't that sound intriguing? But immediately a flood of worry. Uh, floods your brain? Did you pack a picnic? Bring a swimsuit? A pocket knife? You decide to bring as much as you can. You may have to make a run for it at some point, and you should be prepared. But of course, you washed up on this island with nothing. But the clothes on your back, so you've got nothing to gather. Are you really ready for this? I mean, they call her the Huntress. Not the Hugstress. I hate that that got me. 
You look up at this towering goddess, trying to form a sentence when suddenly, or you can decide if you want to go off with her, Wraith interjects. I don't usually do this. Um, I had a dream about you last night, and uh, yeah, I mean, not like a weird dream, but like, I don't know. I wanted to tell you about it. You want to maybe hang out with me today? Uh, why am I being so bad at this? No worries if not, I guess. Huntress is pretty great too. Tough choice. You weigh your options quickly. That is not a tough choice. I'm Huntress 200%. <laughs> he can piss off. Because you can only go on one go on one date today, and you also don't want to be hacked to pieces for saying the wrong thing. It's always good to remember that these are all cold-blooded killers. But you know what they say. When life sees you lemons, you make lemonade. And then die a horrible, retching, rothering death after drinking it because the lemons are poisoned all along. Sorry, this island has really got me tilted. <laughs> Who will it be, Huntress? I gotta go with Huntress. <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> Where did you take me? I just got an achievement. Is that blood on your mask? You're just happy to see me. You and Huntress make your way to the secluded beach house. Your heart thrums in your chest. Don't look up thrums. Is a real word, I swear. <laughs> These nerves like someone or tarot. Isn't it fun to mix sexy and horrifying? Huntress is quiet as a mouse as she guides you through the uh, island forest. You struggle to keep her though, she moves like a jungle cat, all muscles and silent leaps across thorny brush. She halts suddenly and you crash into her, having <laughs> been desperately trying to keep up. Yeah, that's exactly like trying to follow my boyfriend. You follow her gaze and realize you've arrived. A cabin in the woods, obligatory in nearly all horror films and stories. You've come here willingly with a fearsome killer. Great job. The cabin is cozy, but something seems off about it. You quite, can't quite put your finger on what it is. Not just as you through her bunny mask, going ahead to the side as if trying to gauge your reaction to a hideaway. Are you going to invite me inside? It's like vampire rules. If you don't invite me inside, I can't go through the threshold, you know? Vampire rules. I've never played this game. I, I just want to put that out there. I've never actually played this game. That was just a clinky dink, okay? <laughs> Why do you need an invitation? Are you a vampire? <laughs> no. No? Oh. Is it just me or did Tantra seem a little disappointed? Didn't pick her for a lover of the fang, but hey, I don't judge. Come in. Let's explore. Damn. Give me the opportunity. Yes, because technically I am. Just a VTuber. <laughs> You follow her inside. It's creepy, rickety, and definitely not up to code, but it has a certain homey charm. It is very cute in here. Look at the little rubber ducky. You're quite the decorator. She blesses. Indeed she is. A chandelier made of bones uh, hangs delicately from the foyer ceiling. A collection of trinkets lines the mantles. Something, t something tells you that the people who once owned these things are not of this mortal coil anymore. Could you be Huntress's next victim? The thought gives you a wicked thrill. Hey, she's looking at you again. What do you think of my collection? I'm more of a minimalist. I could learn to like this. It's so much. I'm... I love it. Where is the I love it selection? Because I'm a maximalist. I have shit on every surface. It is a problem. I could certainly learn to like this. The whole place is quite tactile. There's so much to look at. The organized chaos makes me want to craft things with my own hands. I knew you'd like it here. You have the eye of someone who appreciates fine stolen things. Oh. I can't wait to go treasure hunting with you. We could find so many more goodies on this island. But first, what do you think of the other killers on this island? I mean, Trickster is pretty out there. But everyone else seems like they're having interesting backstories and whatnot. Oh, hello. Hello, vintage potato. How are you? This is, this is awkward. This is slightly awkward. Um, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm trying to, trying to smash Huntress right now. Just a little. <laughs> uh, has it been you? It's embarrassing. Oh, I'm being outed to the world really fast that I'm really down for muscle mummies. Welcome everyone, welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. You missed the funniest bit ever. 
earlier. I'm a vampire, so I should probably start this off by saying I'm a vampire VTuber. It's kind of my shtick. It's, yeah, I was a 2000s Twilight nerd. That should be all that needs to be explained. And literally, right before we got to the cabin, my character goes, are you going to invite me in? And Huntress goes, you're not a vampire, are you? Like, that couldn't have been scripted if I tried. But yes, I'm thirsting over Huntress. I think Spirit is very cute. I think Trapper is one hunk of meat I would like to be down with. And Wraith can go suck on a toe. I really, really don't like Wraith. He's giving me the ick. Hmm. He knows you so well. Match made in heaven. I'm gonna wipe you, this woman. Okay, let me let me try and continue this. Please do not come for the voices I make. For some reason, my nose is blocked, and it's making this like infinitely harder to do any consistent voices. Also, thank you for all the follows. I really appreciate it. Okay, <laughs> back to um this. Okay, but first, what do you think of the killers on this island? I mean, Trickster is pretty out there, but everyone else seems like they have interesting backstories and whatnot. A little gossip, huh? What are you playing at, Halsey? Huntress considers this... Considers this for a beat. Seems to have two modes, thoughtful and explosive. You hope to never be in a splash zone when the explosive part emerges. Why? Are you jealous? If we can answer the house begins to shake, Huntress loses her balance on the tr uh... The termite infested floor? You have termites? Did you live like this? Oh. <clears throat> and falls into your arms. You are not mad about it. Before you have time to enjoy taking this moment in. Oh. Did you live like this? Oh no, it's an attack. A horde of killer crabs invade through the crevices in the poorly constructed cabin. They race at you in hunters and swarms. Attacking their razor shop claws at you. You must act quickly. What will you do? Shield huntress, run and hide, grab a grab a what? Sheshka? I don't know what that is, but we'll do that. <laughs> you quickly reach out for the sh Shishka? Shish. Like Bubcha? Shishka off the wall. Being the highly educated person that you definitely are, you know that a Shishka is a Russian sword, not an umbrella or a can of cola or something else like that. Yeah. Yeah. Back to back with hunters, you both hack away at the attacking crustaceans. You manage to slay the majority of the killer crabs, the ones you miss go scurrying back into their hidey holes. Huntress turns to you with a gaze that's full of passion and intrigue. However, it bubbles over. She looks away, suppressing this feeling. Is she nervous? Huntress sits down on the wicker couch and begins cleaning the guts of her hatchets. It's an obligatory... Uh, why does this word fuck me up every time I try and say it? Obligatory scene for every killer. You're, you're just happy to not be the source of what she's wiping off. Looks like we're having crab for dinner. She doesn't smile at your joke. She has that ponderous look on her face again. You join her on the couch. Man, sometimes these near-death experiences really get me thinking about what I want in life. I think I'd really like to start a family one day. How about you? We... We don't have the required uh, tools for that, ma'am. Um... I have a pair of scissors and no paper, if you get my drift. Maybe one day with the right person, of course, no way not for me. Um, maybe one day with the right person. I mean, it's a life-changing decision, you have to make sure it's right. Huntress smiles coyly. A good answer, you never know what kind of weirdos are out there. What? <laughs> what were you like as a kid? What? what? How do we trail off that way? You try to imagine this gig gig giantess as a meek child in a puffer coat wandering about the forest. Huntress chuckles, her laugh quite cute and soft. I was so innocent. We hunted to survive, then went back to the cottage and mother would tell me stories and would drink tea and imagine a life far away from the woods. Somewhere like this. I was going to give her a Russian accent. I can't do Russian, so I'm not doing it. So, sorry if I'm not meeting anyone's expectations. I prefer not to butcher some Russian accent. I suppose I finally achieved what I always wanted from me, but since coming here, something feels off. It's beautiful and warm, and everyone is so attractive. 
Like, thirst traps galore. But don't you get the feeling that something is coming for us? Oh no, she's onto you. But I'm telling you about what? Swirling memories rush through your head. Nightmares, vision of a dark cloud. Claudette and Dwight's vacant stares that belie some sort of hypnosis. Quick, validate her theory or try and push it off. Totally, not really. Totally. I think you're out of something. Well, what do you know? How long have you how long have you all been here? Do you remember anything about why we might be here? I've been having these dreams, seeing things. I think we're all serving some greater purpose here. Huntress reveals a strange object that she stole from near the stage where Trickster performs. It has some strange symbol on it. You little thief! It's a bottle. Hey, that looks like the corn. The queen. Truthfully, it doesn't seem that strange to you. It's just a glass bottle. However, the label is interesting. He hands it over to you, but before she can explain her theory, Claudette and Dwight burst in on you and interrupt. We could have been getting down and dirty. What are you doing here? We have a dramatic announcement, but it needs to happen back at the beach. God damn it. I was busy. You arrive at the beach and realize you were set up. There's no big announcement after all. What if we hear is a good old fashioned rivalry? It's true. Exactly like the voice we cannot hear and certainly aren't referencing says. We were forced to interrupt your lovely date by another killer. They're here and ready to make you an offer of love you won't be able to deny. If it's Wraith... Oh, thank god. <laughs> it's not Wraith. <laughs> I can suffer this. This is fine. <laughs> Trapper emerges from the water. Is he in slow motion? He's pure thirst. He's pure Newman on horseback. He's Denzel on the cover of GQ. Manly manulous, brought to life. Also, was he holding his breath under there this whole time waiting for his cue? That's a commitment to a bit if I've ever seen one. Heard you've spent the day in a quaint cottage. That's cute. How about a quaint mansion? Or better yet, how about one on each con continent? Here, yeah, I'm including Antarctica. I'm really, really rich. Think of how cozy we can get in a snowy 10 bedroom chateau. One of those pools is half indoor, half outdoor, but nice and warm throughout. The way you can kill a mama polar bear from the outside while watching her cubs cry over her body from the inside. What just happened? Uh oh. Wow, Trap is a real deal. And by real, I do mean real. And by deal, I mean evil. Plus, you really want to hunt for your food for the rest of your life. With me, you get it both ways. Savagery and someone to clean up after you. Sounds nice, huh? As if that sounds amazing. <laughs> I love Huntress, but he is offering... That's a pretty good offer on the table. There is two meaty looking people in front of me and I'm having a bisexual issue. I don't want to piss off Huntress. For Huntress. That isn't the life for me, bro. I'm very impressed you can speak with implied quotation marks. Very cool. This guy's a total douche nozzle. Try hard much? He's like the turn of the century Pacific Northwest version of a Wall Street bro. Trust me, it tracks. Patrick Bateman with a huge ship on his shoulder. <laughs> you wouldn't go with him if you were brandishing a cleaver at you. Shit, he is. Trapper is loaded and is rich. But it's Huntress. You know I'm down bad for Huntress. But... Wah. Why? Why? Trapper does not look like this in game. He, this is what Oni's build is like. Oh my god. Why does he eat pure protein for breakfast? Thanks, but no thanks. Give in to anger. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm into a quiet lifestyle. I relish my independence and don't need someone to wipe my butt for me. You run back into the huge arms of Huntress. Mommy! She hugs you tight, so tight you think you feel the life leave your body for just a moment, but it hurts so good. I love when she does this pose, it's so cute. You know what? I'm impressed that you stood up to me. I appreciate someone giving me their totally honest opinion. Even that opinion even if that opinion makes you want to carve out your liver. Don't carve out my liver. In the butt wiping comment, that's not what I meant by clean up after you. But I'm hiring someone to do that for me the moment I get home. 
Rafa leaves the internal huntress, walking in slow motion back into the water. It's pretty weird. <laughs> You're just gonna stay in there all night? Shall we continue our day? <laughs> I like that Trapper tried to interject and I still went with Huntress. Huntress leads you back to her cabin. You thought you'd remember the way, but it's like the forest has completely changed. Nothing is familiar. Better not get lost out there. Can you believe that guy? Classic Trapper, pulling a move like that. I'm so glad you chose me though. I don't think we've explored all there is between us yet. She winks a bunny mast a bunny mast eye and scoops you up onto her back. Huntress runs through the woods with you piggyback riding her. The wind ruffles your hair. Animals clear a path of the mighty woodswoman as she races by like the lead from that famous teen vampire <laughs> drama in that one scene. <laughs> it calls her a spider monkey. <laughs> I'm expecting so many fucking vampire references and I love it. Huntress doesn't call you that. Whee! Eventually, she gently lowers you to the ground, and you take in your surroundings, a wooded clearing in the forest. Huntress prances about like a deer in a meadow. I like to come here sometimes to clear my head and hack up a few cute woodland creatures. Foxes are my favorite to slaughter. They think they're so cute and sly, but I see right through them. They're just assholes. Great with hot sauce. Huntress sees rustling and darts off to find a source, crouching down like an animal. Now you're alone in the middle of the forest. Which way did you come from again? No idea. Your sense of direction is all off. Oh my god. Hi, Nemi. Maleficent's voice floats the air. And lending your eyes, uh, lending upon your ears like syrupy honey. Come find me. Uh oh. Those instructions? Oh. Hey, hey, that's good, right? Not bad? That's good. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, that wasn't very good. Please! Oh, that was a good one. Yeah, I got a perfect. These mini games are fucking difficult. Oh. I win. I wonder what happens if you, like, miss one. You have Huntress on the shoulder when you find her. She high fives you. That is. Missed opportunity. Are you trying to date this young lady or just bro down all day? That's what I'm saying! You're so good at hiding, I'm having a real blast. Thanks! They say it takes 10,000 hours of practice to get good at something. Hey, they do say that. I forget that, like, the behavior devs worked on this, so there's so many things of DVD in the game. Like, 10,000 hours. How many times do I see X amount of hours on um, Twitch titles and stuff? <laughs> that was fun, huh? I keep trying to just relax and have a good time, but it's really hard for me. Anytime I let my guard down, something terrible happens. Like what? Totally. Or oh, what about if we let our pants down? Um, <laughs> it's, it's one of those, would I say that, or do I want to say that? Here she is trying to lean into her uh, soft side, and I'm just like, can I get in your pants, please? Let's go with like what? Sometimes I find young girls in the wood, little perfect angels that need my protection. But if I turn my back for a moment, they end up- they wind up dying. That got dark, but you feel like Huntress wouldn't admit this to just anyone. Oh look, Claudette and Dwight are back. Okay, we swear we are here for good reason this time. Yeah, no one is manipulating us this time. It's just time for dinner. Come get some grub. God damn it, I should have taken her pants off. What a fun day you've been having. I can see it written all over your face. You're shining. And that's not just the remaining anxious sweat from spending an afternoon courting a psycho killer. No, no. You are really feeling this whole romantic experience. Don't worry. I'll keep your dirty little secrets. But enough gentle ribbing. It's... Ribbed for pleasure. It's time to get back to business. All the <clears throat> appetizing singles have arrived for dinner, including Trickster. Stop putting in the bait. I know he's not available. Great to see you too. 
we're not going to do the gag we will cram them all on screen at the same time again just so be just so believe me they're all here they're just as sexy and demented as you remember them with your love on the line everyone is being very careful not to offend you by saying the wrong thing congrats by the way i'm getting this far i'm sur what can you die i'm as surprised as you are that these four are failing falling for you no not because your personality but because you just met them yesterday Oh, the trapper seems like the biggest long shot to end up holding under your heart. He throws caution to the wind and he speaks up. It's a pretty small consolation prize for being the least loved killer on Murderer's Island, but hey. Letting them have this one moment in the spotlight is is the least we can do, and heaven knows I won't do any better than that. If I'm dialing so long, I'm eating what I want, and you're all eating it too. Lamb shank, rare, pepper, salt, no sauces allowed, and serve it with one single piece of broccoli so Wraith won't complain. <laughs> I like broccoli. Gives me horrible gas. Oh, I don't like that. Why do you wait till you smell a rare island does to my rare <laughs> Rare lamb does to my mouth. It's awesome. Dinner will be served shortly, but certain power brokers would like to know about your day. Would you like to share your day with the rest of the group? You've had an interesting day, that's for sure. But how will you describe it to the others? Say too much or too little and could affect your standing with the group. Okay. But don't just sit there and say nothing. Nothing isn't an option. Tell of your brush with death. Joke about having kids. We're gonna do that one. <laughs> Today was nuts. We went to Huntress's secret cabin and the killer crabs attacked us. It's true. I'll fall asleep tonight to the delicious sound of crunching crustaceans. That would never have happened on my yacht. I grind them up. Much more satisfying way to kill crabs. At least those kind of crabs. I have a little comb for the other kind. So, Trapper has crabs is canon? <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Go and put it, bring out dinner, everyone eats in silence. No one trusts anyone now and they're all very tired. Oh, wait, no, sorry. That's just a jury supernatural horror thriller set in Antarctica. Not a charming parody dating sim set in an undisclosed tropical paradise. Bony appetite. Don't you mean bon? No, almost everything we serve has a little bones in it, even the vegetables. It's impossible to avoid on this island. Everyone eats without speaking. Tensions are rising, both of the sexual and deadly variety. When everyone finishes, Dwight and Claudette come back to clean the table. They linger around as they pick up your plate, take your napkin and dust crumbs off the table. What would you like to say to the servants? Thank them. You thank your servers! Your top-notch service is much appreciated. Everyone, if you would please be so kind as to follow us to the fire pit, we'd greatly appreciate it. We've been told something big is going to happen, something that will change everything. You can go willingly, or you can go unwillingly. You have no choice. Tough cookies. Did you have a choice on how you said that, dweeb? Yes, and I immediately regret how I did. Good. Something needs to change around here. Fire is rebirth. Fire illuminates the soul. I hope the fire isn't too smoky. Smoke hurts my eyes. I have pretty sensitive eyes. I'm also horribly afraid of it. The fire, I mean, not my eyes. Because of trauma involving fire. And finally, everyone starts moving towards the fire pit. If only to get away from worse complaining. Why did they do him like that? He should have been like the quiet, mysterious man. Not the weird, whiny, icky guy. <laughs> You take a seat on a comfortable log, feeling the fire's heat against your skin and wait for other killers to take their place, wondering who will want to tell a story this time. Will narrator tell a story? I bet they've got a stunning creative mind. Like, hey, you think, are they allowed to simply place thoughts in minds like this? Doesn't seem fair. Everyone makes their way in, but something unexpected happens. Nothing. Nothing happens. Something almost always seems to be happening here, so nothing is probably not a great sign. <clears throat> oh, cool. Now everyone is looking at you. So, you know, do something. Can I pick someone to tell a story, or can we play charades? Boggle? Um, well, we were actually thinking, why don't you tell us a story? Wraith points his spine and skull stuff thingamajig at you. Don't point that at me. You duck out of its way. Who knows what that thing can do? Probably shoots lasers. Try not to bore us. We're just very interested in you. Don't speak for me, Huntress. Now you can't tell if you were warm from the fire if it's just your nerves heating up. 
I know that the fire is right here, but maybe if you stop talking about it all the time, we can start to pretend it's not here and doesn't, you know, threaten to burn us all alive. He's not supposed to hear me. Get out of here, Wraith. Hold your whistle back and make an important decision about telling a story or not. Fine, I'll tell a story. Sure, I'm game to tell a story. I hope it's a mystery. Uh, okay. So what type of story do you want to tell? Romance, adventure, action. Mm. Isn't adventure and action like a hand-in-hand -hand thing? Do action. He's an action-packed yawn for you lot. For the time I got into a bar fight. The grip is interesting. They lean in. It's not going to be very interesting. I already tell. I'm all ears, and I'm not talking about the bucket of them I have in my boat. You crack open a beer by smashing the bottle cap off on the nearest rock before starting. I had a beer. I hate beer. <laughs> I'm at the local watering hole, pairing up my regular 12 beers before I slay at the pool table. Slay is good. Steely Dan blasts from the juice box. Juice, juice box? Juke box. The bartender's tip jar is filled to the brim. I pound the final pint and smash the glass on the counter as I demand shots for the entire joint. The patrons cheer for me. I am their god. Suddenly, I hear the tail terror reviving, uh, revving of engines outside. Motorcycles. The saloon doors swing open. Wait, what's the saloon now? And walks in my arch nemesis, Big Slim. <laughs> the giant of North Toledo. He sounds sexy. No, don't, don't call him that. Thought I smelled something uh, acrid from Archon when I hopped off the hog, Slim says with a sneer. Jesus Christ, this is really... Oh, just okay. I get up from my school. Uh, school. So, the gal behind me rubbing my shoulders, ripping me up for the inevitable fight. A long way from home, aren't we, Slim? What about the fine people from Elm Street going to do without someone to tell them someone's secondhand cufflinks tonight? I taunt him. He strokes his oily beard. This story has a lot of geographical references in it. Shit! Sit the fuck down. I'm speaking. I have the talking stick. I have a perfectly good job at the pawn shop. Why are you coming at me like this? Slim, Slim yells. That's fair, I scream back. Why do we even hate each other? I can't remember. Think about me cutting you up in traffic, but it was a misunderstanding, Slim yells. Well then, let's hug it out, I see. Tears starting to well in my eyes. And we made up. What about the bar fight? Oh yeah, we got in a real blowout fight later than night. Really yelled our proverbial heads off, but it was just an argument about whether we should say pop or soda. Come on. I gave up headlining at Coachella for this? Damn, they can just- they don't have the trademark that? Spirit laughs hysterically, probably laughing at you, but it's a laugh that you're ready <laughs> to accept. But sure, uh, <laughs> that sure was a kind of story, technically. Okay, that was not a very good story. I didn't mean to insult you, but it was actually quite bad. Sorry, this narrow keeps it real. We can't just end there. Who else would like to hear a story from tonight? You look from killer to killer trying to decide who might be the most entertaining. Um, who did I pick last time? I think I picked Spirit, and that was a smidge awkward. Let's do Trapper. Trapper surprises everyone by immediately stepping up and unironically taking the orator's posture. There was a young man who loved his young wife, and the child they had gave the lovebirds a happy life. But one day the couple went out for a swim. Mother didn't return. The boy only had him. Some said the currents took her away, yet others said different. Pointed the husband's way, for the young man was fearless, cunning, and smart. He had many goals, both grand and bold. Easier, they say, done with a fresh start. A wife with her own dreams wouldn't help him at all. Lucky for him, he was drowned in the streams. Neighbors only whispered, throw of a crime so great. But no one ever accused him, at least they meet the same fate. Um... That was different. How do you react to his performance? Upload. Oh, Hurrah! Do you stand and clap loudly? She just takes out an air horn and blasts it. Quiet. Trapper is disgusted by your display of joy. Poetry is meant to be perceived internally, not enjoyed. Nelson is also trying to keep up with what makes these killers happy. How is that? How is story time? A lot of people like to take pot shots and sequels, but I think every story is every good story deserves a follow up. When you think it's the end, the sequel is almost never as rewarding as the original. That's why I'm much more a fan of the episodic story, uh, style of storytelling. Knowing, knowing it's a series takes a lot of pressure off any individual installment and builds a greater sense of community between audience and creator. Tell me, Jose, 
If you could delete any sequel from existence, what would it be? Don't answer that, we actually we don't actually care. We're here to make sure that this we seamlessly move on to the next segment of the evening. God forbid my small talk get in the way of my get away of the fuck. God forbid my small talk get in the way of any romantic twilight moment. Dwight, I'm gonna need you to shut your yap chap. You know we need to get back to the thing we do whenever we're not on screen. Okay, okay. You have fun tonight and try not to wink wink end up dead. Did you just say the words wink wink out loud and what kind of double ended are you getting at with the end up dead thing? Right, it's physically incapable of winking. Not since the accident. And you do know that of all these people are despicable criminals with double digit kill counts, right? Well, except for Spirit. She really doesn't belong here. She's strictly a victim, not a perpetrator. No wonder she's pissed off. Did I hear someone trash talking Spirit? Feel me in. <laughs> what do you say we talk? <laughs> we talk the hot tub so I can soak this bod while I roast this ghost with some killer hot takes. Please, enough talk of burns. Think. <laughs> oh, I forget. <laughs> Dude, no! They took Burning Wraith out of the game! No wonder he's scared of being burned! That's so annoying! They ruined the cannon! Things that are lit or getting blazed is enough that these activities have to be set next to a little fire? Must they be surrounded by figurative flames as well? What if we turned and run as far away as place as we could? Just you and me. On those spindly legs, you'd probably tire before you got too far. If it's running away to some place more secluded, Halsey is after. They should obviously join me. Have you seen these legs? Pure power. <laughs> you can pop my head like a watermelon anytime. Not that my walk speed really reflects my giant structure, but that's because I choose to move slowly for stealthy reasons. It's my own choice and it's completely logical. Why is everyone so obsessed with comparing themselves to each other and creating drama? I'm so over all that. Don't you get it? Society wants to trick you into fighting with each other so that the corporations can swoop in and sell you fake solutions to all of your fabricated problems. Stop being so real! I'll be sitting in the shade drinking something locally sourced while thumbing through a public domain novella printed on recycled paper because I refuse to play the game anymore. Like she actively trying to be unappealing as possible. Does it really turn anyone else? Oh no, just me! <laughs> Despite Trapper's insatiable appetite, it seems his attention, along with the attention of everyone else, is still on you for the moment. If you could, I don't know, just pick one of us, maybe we could all move on with our lives, or, um, you know, some social project me I have going. You heard him. Who will it be? Who will be- who will you head off with the evening activity? I'm just saying, you may not get a ton of chances to date around like this before your time on Murderous Island comes to a close. And no, I'm not satisfied with that name either, but that's the streaming reality TV dating show boom happening. It's pretty much all that wasn't taken. Which killer would you pick? And yes, we're back to excluding Trickster because that guy. Um, I've been with Spirit and Hunches. I'm gonna go with Trapper this time. Trapper? I'm glad you finally decided to take this seriously and make an effort. Don't disappoint me. Or do. My fish haven't eaten in days. I'm not picking Wraith. <laughs> I will go in that trifecta till the very end of time. You arrive at the pool and find no one else is in it. The two of you seem to have it all to yourselves. Why is this water- <laughs> Why is the water in this pool always a little warm? Trapper laughs. I have no idea. Now, do you know why I chose this spot for us? To enjoy a refreshing dip. Cannonball. It's another test. It's another test? You're testing me to see if I'll pretend to be happy while sitting in a pool used by acquaintance? Why would I do that to you? Survival. If I didn't know that by now, I'd already be dead. Yeah, you're right. No, seriously. I've been trying to find a reason to kill you for two days. You keep just managing to avoid your own annihilation and having to start this whole ridiculous thing over. Great job staying clear of their fate. So far. Actually, I brought you to this pool for two reasons. First, I'll ask you something important. Would you like to spend an unforgettable night with me? Maybe. Maybe not. I guess we'll have to see where things go. Hopefully they keep pointing up. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Doesn't matter anyway. We can't. I mean, we could. I know I could. But we're not allowed to. Yet. I can't tell you why either. You get what I'm saying? You want to know more? You want to say- I want to know more. <laughs> why? <laughs> we just talked about this, you absolute dunce. Remember the whole, if I didn't know about your traps, I'd be dead already conversation. The one we just had. I can't even believe you right now. Yeah. I have no choice. 
This is really harsh, even for me, but you totally deserve it. The good news is now that we can skip past all the day one stuff again. I'm not positive though. It all comes down to how the save system is designed. I'm not sure why they settle on either way. Better luck next time. Crap it down during the pool. You're dead because you're impossibly stupid, but don't worry. If you keep playing this game much longer, you'll eventually have the sweet embrace of quick death. Now you could die. You motherfucker. Of course he killed me. Men. Men! Two of you seem to have it all to yourselves. Why is this so wonderful? A little warm, travel laughs. You have, I have no idea. You know why I chose a spot for us? Cannibal? <laughs> Jump in the pool and slash trapper. He, even with his mask on his face, still clearly doesn't look happy. Don't do that again. Actually, I brought you to this pool for two reasons. First, to ask you something important. Would you like to spend an unforgettable night with me? Slow down. Back off, you just drowned me. <laughs> I'm surprised the narrator didn't, like, berate me for that as well. I'm not ready for that just yet. I'm still getting to know you. You have eyes, right? What more do you need to know? Doesn't matter. Anyway, we can't. I mean, we could. I know I could. But we're not allowed to. Yet. I can't tell you why either. You get what I'm saying? Uh, say no more. I get it. I will bid you a good night. Trapper leaves the pool with a big smile after the water unexpectedly gets warm again. Why? Hey, wait a second, Trapper. You never told me the second reason you brought me to this pool. Uh, yeah, the chlorine is great for washing off blood, especially in those hard-to-reach places. You know how it is. FYI, if you do know how it is, you should keep it to yourself. Damn it, I see those dweebs, <laughs> Doug and Claudia, waving at us. I think you both need to head to the volleyball court. He's alright. Dry up and go to the volleyball court. Later, you're gonna want to scrub your own hard to reach places with actual soap. Clone is no match for whatever trapper gets to in those pools. Yeah, he has crabs. He has crabs. He even admitted it. The gang's all together again on the volleyball, volleyball court. Seems like only yesterday you were sitting on the sidelines watching everyone get sweaty. That's because it was? Ugh. Feels like I've been here a lot longer than, I, than that, actually. It's so late that the sun is already beginning to rise. Better get over quickly so that. I mean, you can get some beauty rest. I do not recommend the internal damnation of perpetual narratorum. Good thing you really used to your time well since then. Used your time well since then. Really getting to know the, the gang, the, the, the brain, the moogle, the basket case, the psychotic bunny girl. <laughs> My psychotic bunny girl. You know, the four types of people. Anyway, everyone is gathered in the volume port for a new type of game. Pitch your dream date and see who holds your shoes. Ah. Who's ready for a round robin? How round are we talking? No, not to eat, Huntress. Each killer gets two minutes to tell you about the dream date they have planned for you tomorrow. In no particular order, which is a weird thing to mention, right? Almost like- Bye! Order... Bye. <laughs> Does matter. Wraith, why don't you go first? You look like you'd hate that. <laughs> you look like you'd hate that. Stop talking. Sorry. Anyway, right? Well, uh, I don't know. I'd really prefer to just tell Halsey privately. Uh, I don't really know what's going to work in these game mechanics. What if you just whispered it to Halsey? Race considers for a long moment. Too long. That's fine. Without moving, Ray throws his voice to a barely audible whisper. Tomorrow, we have to find my bell. And then I can finally tell you about what I've been working on. It's going to be really special, the kind of thing where we really bond. And then maybe finally get off this island. And then maybe we can go on a real date. Uh, you done? Is this that it? Wraith nods, proud. Hit us, spirit. Figuratively, damn it. Dwight, you gotta watch with your words with these people. <laughs> one sec, one sec.
Tomorrow, you'll spit in the face of God and die and be reborn anew. That's it. If you're not intrigued by that, I don't want you. Go draw crayon out with Chopper or dig up whatever mysterious with Wraith. I don't know what- I don't know what those guys do all day. Do you want to at least specify which god you'll be spinning in the face of? All of them. Okay, so hydrate tonight if you intend to hang the spirit. Chopper, without further ado, would you like to tell us all the uncomfortable- would you like to make us all uncomfortable by pushing the boundaries of what's acceptable not only in polite society but within the narrative world, narrative of this in-world event and also the large meta-narrative Dead by Daylight dating experience? Sometimes you just gotta say it. Oh yes, thank you. I'd love to. So, Lizzie, we'll you thinking of picking me? Well, this is your final warning. Pick me and be punished. And rewarded? Tomorrow we'll start, probably. I'm not an easy guy to get along with. I know that. I can tell you this much. I'm hiding a secret on this island that will make fans shit themselves with excitement. If you like Trapper, if you like Trapper, you're gonna love it. And if not, you're a maggot. Also, everyone, even confident, sexy ladies in rabbit masks, but stay like, stay the hell away from my yacht. Great. I just, why don't you take it from here? Tomorrow morning, I'm planning on a nice atmospheric breakfast by the yacht. Don't worry, Trapper won't even know it's gone. What was that? Nothing, go away. And then, boy oh boy, I've got such an adventure plan. It involves hunting for treasure. What kind of treasure are we looking for? Guess you'll have to pick me and find out. Well, let me tell you, it's primo stuff. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to stop preparing because it's clear already that you're going to pick me. Fuck. <laughs> Confident, mysterious, I like it. And time's up, everyone. Gosh, you'll need to dream about those options, so you're ready to choose in the morning. Now go dream about these two swoon-worthy swoon -worthy options, and um, that you're ready to make the choice come dawn. Have a swell night. Um, did you two forget to mention something? Oh, oh gosh, how could we forget? Before you run off into a slum peacefully, there's one more thing to do. No, reality survival dating competition parody would be complete without singling out one of our contestants who is already teetering on the edge of a psychological break. And giving them a little push. Hold up, this has been a survival dating competition parody this entire time, and I'm now just finding out about this? Come on, the signs were there, you just didn't read them. Welcome to Murderous Island. And now, time to eliminate one of the killers. Oof, it's like butchering, but it hurts even worse. You can't kill a killer, but you can break their heart. Do you even dare try? You mean... That's right, tomorrow one of these sexy slices will not be eligible to take you on a date. Who's it gonna be? But why? Because uh, it's dramatic? Because it's surprising? Because it's a classic reversal of fate? And it will hurt someone's feelings? Someone dangerous. What's it gonna be, champ? What's your thought process here? Chopper seems like he might throttle you in your sleep if you eliminate him. He killed me already! So, I'm not gonna do that. That being said, at least you'd see him coming. Spirit could be anywhere. She floats. And I hear she can disappear. Hard to track. Eek, if you get rid of Wraith, you might cry, and although I totally support normalizing men crying and being vulnerable, it seems like he might be an ugly crier. That's just, she might pretend to be okay with it, and then just start seeing her behind every tree. What I'm trying to say is, I don't envy you, boss. Which sociopath are you eliminating? <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. What kind of a monster eliminates the Wraith? He wouldn't hurt a fly, is what I just got as an achievement. Look. I'm here and I'm horny and I'm not really getting positive reinforcement from you, Wraithy Poo. I'm glad Wraithy Poo is used here. <laughs> Please don't take this personally. It's just my opinion of uh, you and who you are and what you're about deep down as a person. And I know I don't like it. Like, give me something you know. A kiss, a wink, call my hand, finish telling me about all this mysterious stuff you're obsessed with. Or better yet, don't. Ooh. Wraith rises taller than you've ever seen him and calmly walks to the exit. Before he leaves, he turns to you. When you came here, I thought perhaps you'd be different. I don't know how my last bit of hope in humanity hadn't been snuffed out, but it was. It is now. You're just like the rest of them. There's no hope of goodness here. The only thing I can do is try to escape. Or burn everything and everyone to the ground. He leaves. Pretty badass exit. I was not expecting that. Now you've broken the heart of someone heartless. Should go some shut-eye. And don't worry too much about the broken heart you've left behind. Because of course, they'll be receiving a consolation prize. They might not go, get to go home with Halsey when this is all over, but they'll never sleep alone again. That's right, we're sending out a limited player home with... Uh, their own mostly new trickster body pillow. The best thing to the real trickster. It might not hug you back, but it definitely won't try and stab you. How do we know? Because I've tried it. That's right, it's Dwight tested.
It's Dwight's body pillow. And they made David as the one to come out. Claudette approved. I hope you sleep well tonight, Halsey. You may hear for what you've accomplished. I can you sleep tonight knowing what you've done? No, not because of the guilt. I mean, knowing that there's a legit homicidal maniac who hates you so close by. How can you sleep tonight knowing what you'll do tomorrow? I don't know how you do it, but you better go before Dwight and Claudette come back and put you to sleep themselves. You know, so those two, you know those two, schedule, schedule, schedule. Wow, what a crazy way to end the day. An elimination? I didn't even know it was that kind of game. Let's check in with everyone, especially our loser. Everyone deserves a send off. Oh god. I need to pee! What is it with me in the toilet tonight? I usually only need to do a toilet, like, halfway through a stream. So before we get any further, I'm going to throw up this again. And let you enjoy that while I go pee! Because for some reason I just have to go toilet a lot. <laughs> I don't know why. Alright, um, might as well put music in as well. Alright, I'll be back.
Hello. Okay, that's good. I'm surprised the audio doesn't work for this though. It's meant to be audio. Okay, let us get back to um whatever this shit was. Oh, I also need to pause the music. All right, we'll see how things go tomorrow. I suppose I'm not expecting anything. I tend to shut off my mind off during hard times. I know I seem all excited and devil may cr devil may care. The truth is, I'm really a pessimist at heart. That tends to happen when your mother was screwed by an elk when you were young. Yeah, how'd you know? Well, I guess it's also the only thing you talk about. If you'll excuse me, I think I saw a raccoon over in the tree, and I'm feeling peckish. Thank you, magic. Thank you. Thank you. I know I said some things when Halsey kicked me to the curb, and I just want to say I'm embarrassed by how I acted. Mm, not what I said, though. I stand by it. I want everyone here to uh, to burn. How would I think things are going? It's a matter of perspective. If Halsey's goal is to impress me, things are going poorly. But if Halsey's goals is to set themselves killed, they're doing an amazing job. Did I think there was a chance I might get eliminated? Yeah, I did. Did I care if I got eliminated? Not even a little. So the volume of words I spend talking about how much I don't care about these things signify a deeper yearning within me to be seen, heard, and validated by those around me? Nah. What? No, you're not a part of this. You don't get a confessional. It's cool, man. I'm a part of I'm part of anything, you feel me? I'm not a cog in anyone's machine. I'm my own machine. The whole thing is pretty cute though. Primarily low budget, old school marketing vibes, not gonna lie, I kinda wish I wasn't so busy right now. I'd definitely be down with a reality show style dating competition with survival elements. But I got my new album coming uh, my new album upcoming tour, finalizing a new sneaker line, producing a limited series on my life, starting a new show social media NFT crypto app. You would be a crypto bro. Doing these private gigs over an IP island. My dude, you gotta come check it out. IP Island, it's dope. I swear the real killers are hanging out. Fully licensed, no legal drama. Lawyers, take a hike. I'm gonna tell everyone the tricks to set up about them, don't worry. I'm talking your favorite established characters from all of the pop culture that can't be seen on this island. Hell, you probably can't even mention them. Like, go f- Don't you say it! Look, we get it. You're very popular and in demand, but we have a game to get back to, and I don't want to get sued. Ghostface! Come on! Whatever. I don't even care. I'm the trickster. See you around, Halsey. You too, narrator. Um, I have a name, you know. You do? Yes, yeah, seriously, they do not pay me enough to deal with you people. Is it my turn? What? No, no, it is not your turn. You're sentient water. How are you even sitting in that chair? What's a chair? It's a thing you're getting wet. Now it's gonna smell like mildew. Okay, rude. Fine, let's get this over. It's your turn, Ocean. Do your check-in. Check-in? I was just looking for the bathroom. Bathroom, are you serious? It's down the hall to the left. It's okay. Never mind. Never mind? What does that mean? What does that mean? No, not you two. This wasn't meant to be a confessional time for literally every character in this game. Okay, we don't have to confess anything. We've just been working our ass off for two days straight. I wanted to sit down somewhere. This chair is wet. Yeah, I think the ocean just peed on it. How is it? But you know what? I don't care. So you're looking pretty pleased with yourselves. I've got something to confess. Oh great, what's it gonna be? You ate glue in the second grade, you cheated in an algebra test once. Watching Wraith get eliminated was the first time in the un unending spiral staircase of pain that is my life and I felt even a modicum of joy. Every minute I'm alive is a nightmare. This place is the sun. These sweet sugary drinks. It sounds fun for a long weekend, but for an eternity? The unrelenting rhythm of crashing waves and wailing seagulls? This is like a crescending song of evil that makes you question the very foundation of the universe. Why am I here? Why are you here? What kind of sin do you mean would do this? Please erase me from this disease and make it so I was never born. Pull the plug on this experiment and let my soul be free. Please, please get me out of this polo shirt. Okay, let's get you to bed, buddy. I don't want to go to bed. Going to bed means eventually I'll have to wake up. Yikes, that was a weird way to end. Oh well, what are you going to do? You let the camera roll long enough, someone is bound to say something crazy. Anyway, seems like everyone's had their sh shot to annoy me tonight, so hit the hay and get some rest. Tomorrow's gonna be a doozy. <laughs> Dwight's slowly losing it. <laughs> Soft sunlight warms your skin, nudging you awake. You're also using a killer crab as a pillow, which it's sort of okay with. Hi, Carp! You pull on the beach attire and splash water on your face. Dwight cloud it approach. Is that 
look on their face, excitement, terror? Do I keep waking up on the beach? You notice your stomach flutters with butterflies. Someone's in love. Or you've been infected with zombie butterflies in your sleep. This has happened before, but it's probably the love thing. It's time! Claudette gestures over to the beach where the killers all stand flanked by tiki torches. The scene very reminiscent of a TV show you, you used to hate watch with your ex. Specific! <laughs> Suddenly the message is clear. You're going to declare your affections for a killer in front of several other killers. Hey, isn't Trix supposed to, be pay supposed to be here? We paid good money to make some half assed cameos in this show, and I'm going to chew his, his agent out. But before they walk you over for your big moment, I don't think we haven't noticed how you've been to us. What? How kind you've been to us, Fulzy? It can't be easy being thrown into a mysterious island for seemingly no reason, surrounded by terrifying killers trying to manage your most primal impulses. Murder and making out! And you've kept a cool head and treated us, your friendly island host, with dignity and respect. So don't tell anyone who told you this, but Claudette and Dwight look around. Oh god. Just a little hint for you going forward. Don't try to go all the way with the killer who isn't into you. Relationships are a two-way street. If you have the green light in the other direction, you might end up in the friend zone. The friend zone? That doesn't sound so bad. Where do you think you are exactly? Dead by Daylight doesn't do friends. There are killers and there are survivors, and I'm afraid we can't say more. Okay, so who's into me? Put it and Dwight look around conspiratorially again. Well... I've seen sparks flying between you and Huntress. I saw her whittling a little figure of you last night while everyone else was asleep. So you ready? Of course you're not. Too bad. We're on schedule. Oh, I didn't realize you eliminated people in this game. You make your way over to the floor of hot, uh, row of hotties. Claudette and Dwight sit off to the side, hands behind their backs. It's been quite 48 hours, but... There are clearly sparks in the air, and I'm not just talking about this rusty chainsaw. Though, I do recommend staying away from those sparks. It's time for a newcomer to confess their love. Wait, I have to do a drum roll for this. No, you don't. Who cares? Well, so who do you choose for your solo date? Wait, at least do the flower thing. But I thought we agreed to keep that between us. No, not that flower. <laughs> not that flower thing. The thing where the, the suitor gets a flower as a symbol as a contestant's love and affection. Oh, right, right. I suppose, but no rosins. They're such a cliche at this point. Well, that's good, because I tried to pick a rose but get an ouchie, so I set up for these. Oh, those are really pretty. Beautiful. You've done good, Dwight. This is a lovely bouquet. I hope Dwight saves some of these for Claudette. They're a thing, right? You're getting that vibe too? Just me? Sorry. Sorry, you've got other things to think about right now. No, Dwight is with David. Claudette, I don't know. <laughs> Halsey, do you Halsey, who do you select these flowers to spend the day with you today? Huntress. <laughs> you turn up Huntress. She's never looked more appealing. Her coughed and dress ruffles behind her in the light morning breeze. A seagull lands on her shoulder. She's like a beachy cartoon princess. She snaps the seagull's neck and stuffs it somewhere under her flowy dress. Probably safe for lunch. She can't help with the hunt. Huntress, I choose you. Let's spend the day together and see if we think a future is possible for our love. Me? Really? I just throws her hands up in the air like a bear and gallops towards you. At first she thinks she might swipe at you with her gigantic hands and knock a life at you, but instead she scoops you up into a hug and takes her place at your side. And she just stuck her tongue at all the other killers. Sometimes the immature move is the right one. It's sure to be a fun day. We'll just be here not getting to really participate, even though survivors matter too, while you go off and have a grand old time. Yep, just Claudette and I hanging out, no one competing for our love. Wondering what we did in a past life to end up embroiled in this unrelenting misery. But go, have a blast. <laughs> I... I feel like Trick... not Trickster. I feel like Trap is the hardest one to try and wifey. He's the only one that's managed to murder me so far. Huntress eagerly leads you to the yacht to begin your romantic day together. I thought this was Trapper's yacht! You have to admit, warm salty air in your skin and the sound of crashing waves. This is a pretty perfect morning, just you and Huntress. Hey cuties. Ah, Ocean's here too. Did you know that I'm teeming with fresh- with flesh-eating bacteria and dead bodies? That pesky ocean, always killing the vibe. You turn to Huntress. You sure you're okay here in the ocean? I know you don't like to be out in the open. Something about being here with you makes me feel safe. 
You both sit down at a beautifully set table um, on the deck of the boat. A widespread of mouth watering breakfast goodies are arranged in front of you. Can we get you anything? Um, you look a bit green. I get extremely seasick. <laughs> and tricks to replace all the islands. Uh, what? Drum, drum, drama mine with party drugs. So I assume that's like anti seasickness pills or something <laughs> with party drugs. Wait, how did they get here? Weren't you just on the beach consoling the rejected killers? Are there more than two of them? You must run them over. We'll both take a screwdriver. Hold the orange juice. Of course. Hey, can you play this particular song for us? Set the mood. You hand Dwight a piece of paper with a song title written on it. Sure, though I doubt Trapper has any of it in his vinyl collection. Doing the haunting melody of an old Russian lullaby streams through the yacht's expensive stereo. Sounds a lot it's like something Huntress may vibe with. Very clever of you to request it. The boat rocks us through to the rhythm of the song. The eerie and melancholy, melancholy mood is really quite romantic. Breakfast has never been this intimate. We reach out to touch hands with sound. When a loud bellow scares you, you knock your flesh, flesh, freshly poured flute of straight vodka onto the pristine deck. This trapper, he's screaming at us from the beach. Look how tiny he is from all the way out here. I just switch his head between her fingers like a child and giggles. Damn both of you, the chairs you're sitting on are worth more than your lives. Get back here. He's not wrong. Hey Claudette, take us out further. Aye, Captain. Can't you drive a boat? Guess we'll find out. Alone again. Nothing but the core of a seagull in the ominous shadow of a creature lurking beneath the waves. <laughs> Trapper did threaten um just threatened to kill me if we took his boat, so um, I'm going to be avoiding Trapper for the rest of this playthrough. I have something for you. For me? Lunch just feels a package wrapped in a bloodied apron. You clap your hands like a kid on their birthday. Her playful attitude is rubbing off on you. A little something, a gift. It didn't cost me anything because I made it myself. Oh my, it is. Is it something shiny? No, silly. Shiny things aren't made, they're stolen. Duh. This is handcrafted. I saw you admiring my mask and figured, here you go. It's so cute. I get to be a mini huntress. It's perfect. You put it on. It fits your face like a face glove. You gaze a huntress with the eyes of the mask. You swallow of emotion surges through you. One has become two. Rabbits are multiplying, even in mask form. Let's go back to my place. She downs her screwdriver. You mean her vodka? The tension is palpable as you enter the cabin. You cut it with a hatchet. <laughs> Give me a break. It's uh, it's day three of killer jokes. Narrator only has so much mojo. I just sits down at the cluttered table in the kitchen. You notice the blood stains that have crept in every nook and cranny of the wooden planks. What, what poor creature died on this table? Did they suffer? What do you care if they suffered? Get back in the ocean, ocean. Stop backseating omnis omniscient r r narrating. Stay here. Don't move a muscle, or I'll hear it. I can hear my mammal's tendons creak as they stretch. It's a gift and a curse. I'll be right back. Ah, alone in the cabin. Alone in the cabin? The, the cabin. What to do, what to do. Tidy up. Freak out. I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out! <laughs> Tell someone who cares! Hey! Fine, you've called my bluff. I literally have to listen to you and your problems, or else the damned ocean will, uh, will have a... Conniption? So what's the deal? Am I ready for this? Is it smart to get intimate with a known cannibal? She kills on command and doesn't even claim the blood of her apron. You mean her seraphan? Come back. Wow, rude. What's that in her strong yet delicate hand? You reach out for her, longing to stroke her blood matted hair and scratched up shoulders. Thought we could get one by the fire. Mmm. -hmm. She wags a finger at you, a bunny-licious smirk on her face. Not so fast. Remember when you talked about how there's more going on here? You nod like a little idiot. Well, I now know there's something up. The other night, while you were sleeping like a cute little baby, I snuck into each of the other killer's, room, the killer's lair and saw them with shiny objects that they've been stealing from me. I think they're connected somehow. Maybe it has to do with the symbol. I tried to go back last night, but something blocked me from picking any of the objects up. Someone or something knows I'm onto them. I think if you try, it might work. What do you say? Will you help? Hell yes. I kind of just want to vibe in this moment. Hell yes. <laughs> I will. 
Great, now I have to go rob the others. The globe trotting treasure hunt on the level of Nicholas Cage masterpiece? You can definitely count me in. They were plotting with that. Oh, wow. Uh. Let's go. I'll be your guardian angel. You never know when those other killers might pop up. You grab Huntress by the hand and practically trip over your own feet on the way out the door. Feels good to have a quest. Thrilling. But a part of you is wondering how quickly you can get through this and impress Huntress. Soon she'll take you in her yoked arms and you'll swoon. Your childhood crush on Popeye is making more and more sense. Jesus Christ. Where do you want to start? There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress and they're not going to let, and you're not going to let them get away with it. Which one will you investigate? Go to Trapper's Cave, go to Spirit's Lighthouse, go to Wraith's Cosmic Dump, go to Trix's Stage. I thought we had a Trickster item. Um, I'm gonna start with Wraith. I don't even know if he's around, because we did boo him. When you arrive at Wraith's Oddball Hangout Zone, you immediately understand why they call it the Cosmic Dump. They being me, obviously. It's as if there are items and elements from all over the universe in this space. Also, it's a damn mech. But it's undoubtedly a special place. The very air you breathe makes you feel you're part of something much, much larger. I'm gonna go hunt us some lunch while you find the object. You'll know it when you see it, because it's extremely shiny. Uh, how long have you been standing there? Are we really- <laughs> are we ever really there? I don't have time for your <laughs> existential crisis today, Ray. But Huntress and I are totally gonna get it on soon, I think. I hope? Look, I need to find a special object you have hidden here. You stole it from Huntress and she knows it. So you're trying to figure out this whole thing too, huh? Hmm, check this out. I feel like Wraith was the safest to go with. But I think I'm gonna die here. <laughs> Bit of a subject change, but sure, it's Wraith you're dealing with after all. Wraith leads you to a telescope. Through it, you can see a far off island in the distance. It's Trickster's Island. Holy smokes, is that. Sorry, I actually have no idea what it is. Would you mind filling me in? It's IP Island. Where all the coolest killers from intellectual properties that were legally obligated not to mention by name hang out and party with Hollywood celebs and Silicon Valley moguls. <sighs> you tell me Myers is over there? I am swimming! <laughs> Pyramid Head's over there? I am going to be the fastest fucking swimmer. I would be Olympian levels. Michael Phelps, move over. I'm in. I'm going. That's not even all. Zoom in over there. Or am I zooming in? Da. You fuck. Is that Ghostface? Is that not to name them? Oh jeez, now I'm gonna have to clear the rights. You have no idea how much a lawyer charges by the hour. I'm sorry, he just kind of popped up. I'm telling you, something crazy is going on in here. I'll have you know, I wasn't trying to steal anything from Huntress. I'm just looking for answers, but also occasionally losing said answers. Yep, that's right. The thing you're looking for, I can't actually find. So, good luck, I guess? Oh god, a minigame. I haven't seen one of these before in the past 10 seconds. Ready. Ah, shit, it's this one. Oh, it's the coin. Give me that. Like, concentrating, I want it. Not bad, not bad. Uh oh. Oh, I perfected that! You see an old pair of glasses on the ground and quickly grab them. You found it! It's so shiny. I knew I could count on you, Halsey. That's saying something, because I literally never learned to count via any traditional system of numbers. Let's get out of here. Okay, we have a pair of glasses. It's hard to believe that these old glasses really mean anything special, but a lady like Huntress deserves whatever she wants. So in a moment, imagining Huntress with glasses. Would she wear them over the mask or under? Hmm. Hey, that's not just some junk. Those are my reading glasses. I just subscribed to highlights. So we stole his reading glasses. There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress. You're not gonna let them get away with it. As for Ray's hangout, that's already covered. Which one will you investigate? Let's do Trapper. There are two ways to get to Trapper's cave. Do the whole, you know, trap-based character theme he's got going on. You can rest assured that either one or both of these passwords is filled with traps. You turn to Huntress for advice, but she only giggles and shrugs her shoulders. You're on your own, it seems. I'm going to die! Guess you're gonna have to wing it. Which will you choose? Through the forest or underground tunnel? I'm gonna die again. 
We'll go underground tunnel. Underground tunnel, huh? Sounds secretive. No one can stop you if they can't see you. And that's it. No one can rescue you if they can't hear you scream. And nobody will need to waste time burying you if you're already underground and you die. But you're not gonna die, are you? Am I? Ooh. Oh, oh, I forgot his lore. Surely a dimly lit tunnel like this must be rife with traps. However, you managed to make your way along, distinctly uncaught by any traps, rusty, bare, or otherwise. I got this. You're doing great. You're not at all afraid? Who? Me? Nah, I gotta say. This is up there among the nicest, damp, and seemingly um, abandoned tunnels I've ever wandered through. Look, it even has lights. Inspired by Huntress bravery, you dig deep inside yourself and summon courage of your own, which is good, because you're going to need it if you're going to head through that very murdery looking passage right ahead. I thought I was supposed to be, like, sneaking in. Oh. You enter into a human shadowy cave, dripping water echoes all around you. It's definitely not cozy like the cabin you left behind. You wonder, how deep does that pool of shiny water go? Let's get this over with. When your eyes adjust to the darkness, you see Chopper. Leans against the wall of the cave like a detective in an old film <laughs> noir. I knew you'd come. Chopper, get out of our way. I'll skew, like, skew you and serve you for lunch. You're wasting your time. You'll never find what you're looking for. Unless what you're looking for is a minigame. What? A minigame? How unexpected. How playful. How are you playing right now? Find Huntress's lost shiny thing. Heal them eyes. You're in the hunt now. Oh. Yes. Oh. This is getting harder. Hey, that's the hey. Well, not bad. You did it! You found my last shiny eye object! I'm so grateful I could kiss you right now, but I won't, because I'm pretty sure Trapper didn't actually leave and he's still over in that shadow watching us. Later, Trapper, you thieving little perv! <laughs> hey, that's not fair. I'm huge. <laughs> you huge thieving little perv. <laughs> Come on, Halsey, let's hurry to the next place. I got a pen. You found Huntress is slimy thing, and well, it's just a regular old pen. But we don't need to point it out. She's happy, and isn't that all that matters? Huntress is happy. I'm happy. There are four killers who have stolen from Huntress. Uh, you're not gonna let them get away with it. You've been to Trapper's dank little hideaway, so there's no need to go back there. As for Wraith's hangout, it's already covered. Which one will you investigate? I'm gonna spirit. I thought it was going to be a little bit more sneaking around and trying not to get caught and killed, but it's an awful lot of, hi, I'm in your house and I want this. <laughs> this place is spooky as heck. Wasn't the beach sunny and beautiful just a moment ago? So you're telling me that your precious sunny thing is up there? It's pretty great, right? Finally a chance to activate these quads. You don't get legs like this from standing still. We already know I love a good workout, running, jumping, climbing, rough housing. Um... Get that damn shiny thing before your immeasurable horniness melts your brain and it runs. <laughs> How do you get yours already? Yeah, I caught it out. It's obvious to everyone. Just own it. So, shall we? I'm getting read by the narrator. I want out. <laughs> Fuck this game. I hate it already. <laughs> Inside the lighthouse, it's so dark that you can barely see the step in front of you. But that's okay, because you've got about 100 stairs practice getting the hang of this in the dark. However, something about this gloomy place is really wearing you out, messing with your otherwise happy, horny aura. You can practically feel your mood going down, down, down as you climb up, 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 higher into the lighthouse before you finally arrive at the top. Spirit, you're looking pretty pleased with yourself. Yeah, I'm getting the hang of this whole being dead thing. Did you totally get sadder the closer you got to the top of the tower? That was me, baby. I gotta share the wealth, and by wealth, I mean unending despair. You're probably here for the one of those precious shiny things that I've stolen. Good luck finding it! I'll be over here, reading, if you need me. Let's find this shiny thing. Anything to brighten the mood in here. Don't miss a treasure. This is a treasure hunt, not a treasure miss. I'm sure there's an achievement where you need to, like, hit all perfects, and I can't imagine doing that. Especially if I'm only hitting just the not-bads. Oh, that was almost bad. Yes! You've really gone a long way to prove your dedication to me. You know I noticed, right? I see a raccoon lick itself in 200 yards away in pitch darkness. I definitely see you working that little butt off for me. Oh, okay, that's kind of cute. I want a shark charm thing. 
Shiny thing get. You found a bottle opener? Really? This is a fancy item? Whatever. You're a real team player. Okay. No. Stop. Spirit doesn't even look up from a book. I think you'll be fine if you just beast out. Spooky. They blink. Oh, they do. That is a bit eerie. I don't know if it'd be worse if they didn't blink, though. You know what I can do? You know what I could do? I could rip their skins and make it a PNG. Because <laughs> you could have one for the eyes open and close. <laughs> anyway. There are four killers who have stolen from hunters. You're not going to let them get away there. Trip is dank little hideaway. Uh, the black lighthouse you've searched it already. Race hangout is covered. Which one will you investigate? Well, the only one left. Twickies. Whoever tricks the stage, but there's no one here. Not Tristan, not an audience, not anybody. Nothing eerier than an empty concert venue. Think of all the fringes that once stood here. Uh, the beards that sloshed over red solar cups. Mosh pits. Tall guy standing in front of you for the entire show. Lifelong friendship that actually lasted for one summer. Good times. My concerts are always an experience. You should totally come to one of my after parties sometime. They're a real scream. I'll put you on the VIP list. Aqua acoustic balalaika music. Trickster, I've never listened to your music and I think sampling the sound of people's screams is very been there, done that. Hey, no one talks to Trickster like that. How do you know about my samples? Somebody, obviously, a much bigger fan than they're letting on. Do you remember how this is a shiny mysterious object is or a rock that grin off your face with chloroform drenched rag? Way to hush my mellow. Deranged violence and torture is only cool when I do it because it's my commentary in a shallow society and I make it look sexy as hell. Your thingamajig is that way. Drake the backs away from you and resumes practicing his intricate dance routine. The way you stood up to that bootleg backstreet boy was just now was, wow. If I weren't so strong and stable on my feet, I'd swoon. But it just wouldn't be believable. Find me my shiny thing, champion. Ah, yes. Ooh, that was like really good, perfect. Ooh, I'm concentrating. Ah! You did it! Your ability to find the unfindable is quite uncanny. A natural hunter, I must say. Do you think I might be able to find your heart? I would hope so. It's very important to locate and remove all the internal organs as you, of your prey as soon as you fell them, so the meat doesn't spoil. Thanks. Oh, you had the coin. What's this? You found a gold coin? Phew, that was fun and scary. Good to see the early killers are taking the heartbreaking stride, more or less. And you got a really nice tour of Sunday Island's lesson and haunts. Ha. Boom, still got it. You make a pretty good team, you and I. What can I say? I appreciate a fine collection. Now that yours is back in order, maybe we head back inside to appreciate it. And you collect a certain other special gift I've been meaning to give you. A special gift? Is it shiny? I suppose it could be, if you oil it up enough. Whoa, what am I hearing? I'm gonna be ill. I know we're going into detail. Went into the cabin in stock, barely lit, deep shadows stretching from wall to wall. Somehow it manages to be a little bit terrifying, but also a Bit romantic? But you barely even notice you've got other things on your mind. Whoa! Mummy! You're practicing undressing each other as you walk through the door. Mine's elsewhere, and neither of you realize the door is wide open already. She took her clothes off. She's drawing. You're incredible. Every time you found all the objects, my heart beat faster and faster. Your nimble hands, is there anything they can't find? The fireplace is crackling, your heart is pounding, the smell of cinnamon is in the air, but wait. Who is that? Uh... <laughs> that just quickly pulls her beach cover back up. <laughs> My darling. Mother? An old Russian woman, bearing a striking resemblance to Huntress, sits warming her hands by the fire. There's a striking resemblance? I don't see it, personally. She turns to you, and you're shocked to see that she appears to come from a completely different time in history. Wrapped in old, unfamiliar clothes that are completely out of place here on this beach retreat. Without thinking, you blurt out. Ah! A ghost! Something in Russian! Who is this? What an honor! Uh, I'm gonna go with the Russian. Who is this? When you add... When did I add this to my Russian word to my vocabulary? This island is really doing things to me. You know who I am? 
What? You expected that my elk wounds would carry over to my ghostly form? The gods have smiled on me and cleaned me up. She must be in a decent mood if she's known the fact that you're dropping ox bombs all over the place. Hunch just chuckles nervously. Hey, Mama. Slater and Dwight burst in like they're in a prank video. I bet you weren't expecting this date to include meeting her mom. What? Hey, Hunches, how do you feel about your dear old mom coming to interrupt your date? Yeah, we were just about to get down and dirty. And mom popped in. Hunches throws a hatchet directly at the two survivors. It skews the wall in between them. Without another word, they quickly scurry away. Good girl. Hunches turns to you. Can I wife her mother by any chance? I hope this is all right. I was kind of hoping to bang. Of course. That is so painful in front of mom. Of course it's okay. I give... What? I give great parent? Hunches breathes a sigh of relief. It's just not the mood I thought we were coming back to, but I'm here now. I'm in it. I'm ready to meet your mama. <laughs> Thank goodness, because my mum is the only person, um, I mean, most important person in my life. We Russians invented tea. Did you know that? Mama Huntress shoves a cup in your hand, and as you drink your tea with her, the air becomes warm around you. You, Huntress, and her mother sit by the fire and exchange stories an antidote. An antidote. Mum pulls out some old-timey pictures of young Huntress in black and white, holding bloodied animal corpses with a chilling dead-eyed stare. You will laugh and eat raw meat of some kind. It's a lovely time, almost like you're back home. You've forgotten that you're on a possibly cursed island on top of what is likely some sort of hell mouth. Look, it's not official law. I like to call it like you see it. Every so often, Mama Huntress clutches her stomach and her eyes stare in the middle distance. In one of some stones, she's reliving the moment she was skewered by an elk. Very grim. I like you. Thank you for indulging me in my tea and stories. So tell me, what are your intentions with my daughter? Oh, this means bunny. But you guessed that already, didn't you? Oh, but now you've got your translator out ready. Yeah, I did not. To keep her safe, to start a family together, to take it slow. To love and protect her, your honor. I mean, your mother. I mean, Miss Huntress. You think my honor needs protecting? Have you seen her thighs? She could crush you with them. Oh, I wish she would. <laughs> Even for the audience of this game, sheesh. <laughs> Just kill me already. My time on this plane is coming to an end. The weird magic from that ghost girl's black lighthouse won't keep me here for long. I don't want to get into the logic of this, but yeah, the black lighthouse can bring ghost, can bring ghosts back to life. If you're still here. You're willing to believe anything. The well, spirit who brought you back? I'll have to thank her. Just mama begins to fade. Hunches cries. You picture a six-year-old lying over her mother's dead body. Ah, uh, honey, really? This foolish character? It's your life, I guess, but honestly, I'd rather you just be alone. Yeah. Well, I think it was the thigh comment. Hunches takes her mum's opinion very seriously. Is looking at you different now? Mama Huntress fades away, leaving you and Huntress alone again. Not a second later, Claude and Claude. Claudette and Dwight storm back in. Never alone for too long on this island. Time for a dramatic scene between the lovers. Shall we adorn in the forest clearing for ambience? Oh no. I think I'm about to get killed. Oh no. You and Huntress stand holding hands in the forest clearing. Dwight and Claudette watch your interaction closely. Too closely. Hey, I really loved hanging out with you. I think I think it's time. I'm for... oh my... okay. Okay, I'm ready for this. Time to call me by my real name, like my mother does. Will you call me Anna? Oh, that! Yes, of course. I think Anna is a beautiful name, and you're a beautiful person, Anna. Fuzzy, do you know what I'd like to do right now with you, beneath the moonlight? I'm feeling closer to you than I ever have before, and there's nothing I'd rather do right now than... She averts her eyes. Does she mean what you think she means? Nope, she's looking at Dwight and Claudette. Wrap up these two fools with you. What? No way. Uh, sure. Absolutely. I did admit to wanting to be crushed by her thighs. 
a little too fast, but I did admit. A name change to Anna now? It did. There's a lot of subtle things like that. Um. Yeah, sure. What? In a way. Absolutely. Um, I'm gonna- I have to go with my gut. I'm gonna protect the wait staff, man. I'm out of here. I don't want to hurt anyone. I make a beeline into the dark woods away from a stunned huntress. I oh, shoot. You step on one of Trapper's bear traps. He'd swear he'd get you with. You can hear his <laughs> maniacal laughs as you bleed out. Game over. Fuck. Why? Why is it Trapper? Why is he getting me? This is twice now. What the fuck? It's always Trapper. No. I have to start over. Ah, oh, I'm just gonna speed through it, I think. I might pick some different options, though. Oh. Yep, 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 yep. Trix is just putting drugs everywhere. Uh, Huntress orders screwdrivers without, you know, anything that isn't alcohol. I put on creepy music. Trapper doesn't like that we took his boat. She gives me my mask, and it's very cute. Oh, I wonder if I was wearing that the whole time. You got got by Trapper for a second time. And I like him. <laughs> All right, this time I won't admit that I want to be crushed by her big meaty thighs. Come on, come on, come on. Um, you know, we'll try to tidy up. Clean up, clean up. Everybody do your share. You have expect a flock of adorable birds and cute little mice to come spinning in to help you, but they don't. Because this isn't some fantasy. This is gritty. This is real. No more Anna. I will get Anna back. Plus, I'm pretty sure she kills all the adorable birds and cute little mice. So you put around the room by yourself, organizing Huntress' various trinket collections. Old bottles over here, discarded vintage old parts over there. Various keys that don't open anything in particular. She doesn't have a drawer filled with these. Never has a drawer like that. Then you lay a blanket down in front of the fireplace for no reason. No reason at all. Certainly not imagining all the naughty things you could do down on such a blanket. On a blanket? <sighs> Puts that in her strong yet delicate hand. You reach out for her, longing to stroke her blood matted hair and, and scratch it up shoulders. But we could get warm by the fire. Hmm. She wags a finger at you. Bunny licious smirk on her face. Not so fast. Remember when we talked about these? Going on here, you know, like an idiot. Oh, now I have to do all this fucking things. I will help! Go steal those stuff back, because it was kind of fun. Now I have to do all the fucking minigames again? There's a save feature, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna save after I do that. Alright, chopper. Um... Give me a sec. I wanna save. No, please, let me save! <laughs> God damn it. We'll try the forest. Place up in, in the ground voluntarily. Let's ask me Buried, dead, life doesn't matter. The surface is where you belong. Last cascading through the leaves of the trees, it casts a hazy glow as you wander into the bush, leaving the cabin behind. But no matter, this is Huntress's domain. Think that'll keep you safe? Eh, well, you thought wrong. As soon as you take a step off the beaten path, it lands on one of the bear. <laughs> trap is bear trap. He swore he'd get you here as maniacal offer as you bleed out. Stepped in one of my bear traps, I swore I'd get you with. I just said that. Seen a lot of trapped animals, and I confirm he got you. And, well, this is fatal. Down at Trapper, not again. Wait, how often is Trapper killing uh, people? I was like, well, underground didn't kill me, so I'll try the fucking other one. Fucking speed through this. <sighs> I did it again. I knew Trapper was out to get me. She keep, I freak out because it's just how I roll. We're not getting sexy on the blankie anyway. No, no, Anna. Fuck you. I'm getting there. <laughs> Hell yes. We'll do this. Well, don't pin that. <laughs> All right, we'll do this one. Underground tunnel. We're not gonna die. Didn't die the first time. And then he's hiding in a shadow. And then we steal the pen. 
mini game. How unexpected. Oh, just you did it! You found my lost shiny object. I'm so grateful. I can kiss you now, but I won't because I'm pretty sure Chapa didn't actually even still in the shadow watching us. <laughs> you thieving little perv! Hey, that's not fair. How huge! I love that interaction. Huge thieving perv. I didn't mean to. Oh fuck! I didn't mean to pick tricks trick stuff but hey okay, i guess we're getting it done yes 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 we piss off trickster because he's an annoying fuck boy oh please count okay cool i'm getting weird audio here i think it just might be because it's trickster's area look at her she's looking at me so happily Oof. Oh, I didn't feel good about that one. But I did it. Whatever. I got the coin. Okay, that's that. Uh, go to rates. Meow. Yep, ghost face shows up. Kind of actually scared me a little at the start because I was like, when is it going to zoom in? And then, yeah, he just appears. They could have made him look a little bit nicer. <laughs> I forgot, isn't Ghostface in this game their own IP? Wait a minute! I think I hear the game. Oh, it says the game audio is working. It's just music, like there's no talking. Yeah, it's just game audio. Oh, I'm lagging. Maybe that's it. I don't know why I'm lagging. Oh, yeah, I'm lagging really bad. Please don't do this to me tonight. Come on. I don't want to start up another stream. I just want this to be smushed into one. <laughs> All right, I'll just, I'm gonna get through this. Ooh, that did count as perfect. Ooh. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that's still counting. I'll take it. Yeah, I'm at three fucking upload. Oh, I'm so annoyed right now. I don't deserve this. All right, and two spirits. Sometimes they don't seem to have rendered her outfit very well, and I don't know what it is. Yeah, like this is a bit better. Sometimes it looks like they just rendered her tits and then forgot her dress. Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Okay, let's go and let's try and not be embarrassing in front of your mama. Because that was the uh, really bad last time. Okay. <laughs> Here she is being thirsty as hell and then her mom walks in. That's so awkward. Okay. Um, I did that one. Yep, and they come in, we throw a hatchet at them, they fuck off, and then this time... Of course! They give great parent. Huntress breathes a fire relief. It's not just the moon that will come back to him. You know, I'm ready to meet your mama. Um, I get some tea, we get some photos. What are your intentions with my bunny? Start a family together. We forge our own forest dwelling with a brood of a half dozen at least hunting side by side forever. Mama Huntress smiles at you. She switches into her bloody cloak, pulls out a handkerchief with a flower on it. 
For you, the one worthy of my honor. Use it to clean your hatchet of Visha. You take the handkerchiefs. It's soft and it smells like spices. I'll take good care of this. You point to Huntress. Her, on the other hand, she can take care of herself. Huntress is ecstatic. You've won over Mama. No easy task. My time on this plane is coming to an end. The weird magic from that ghost girl's black lighthouse won't keep me here for long. I don't want to get into the logic of this, but yeah, it's... Spirit. Spirit will you back. I have to take her. Bring us to fade. Huntress cries. You can picture it six years old laying over her mother's dead body. I'm keeping my good eye on you if you break her heart. I will send Baba Yaga after you. You try to chuckle good-naturedly, but you should really be afraid. Baba Yaga is no joke. We play scuffle board every third Thursday, and she's absolutely ferocious on the court. Bye. Safe journey home to the realm of the spirits. Mama Huntress fades away, leaving you and Huntress alone again. Not a second later, they storm back in. Yes, and then we go outside, and then I got fucked up by Chopper like twice. Let's do that again. And now I have Anna back! Fuck you, cop! Chop these fools up. We'll go with. Uh, sure. Can you just hang them on me hooks for now? I'd love to get to. Get you out of their rope. Murder feels too much of a distraction. More dessert than appetizer. Huntress laughs devilishly in agreement. Can't argue with that. Oh. That's grim. You hoist Dwight and Claudette onto meat hooks that have conveniently appeared outside of Huntress's cabin. After all we've done for you, we have kept you so on schedule. If it weren't for us, you'd be wandering around no activity planned at all. The cabin, milady? I thought you'd never ask. Oh god, I'm about to smash. Once inside the cabin, Huntress strips off her, her chaftan, revealing every curve of her muscled bod. You follow her lead, this roving for the first time since waking up here on this island. Yeah, you've been sleeping in your clothes. No judgement, it's a strange new place. Ooh. You kiss, and yes, if you were wondering, it looks like she's gonna keep the bunny mask on for this sexy time. This is the part where we- where I skedaddle. Decapitation? Sure. Tiger Maulings? Love it. Dude. It's crushing others, dudes, and car crashes? You gotta have it. But hanky panky? Can't handle that. I'll leave you two horny kids to it. Ah, Genoa. Yesest bio. I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> what? Just because Huntress speaks Russian doesn't mean I do. I speak Canadian French. It's a thing. Look it up. I'm nervously running my mouth now just to give you two time alone in the dark. Maybe. Stop if you've heard this one. A hillbilly and Dr. A clown walk into a bar. Fine. We'll get back to it. Post doing it, you and Huntress lie together in the warmth of the fire. Everything is so perfect. God, I just smashed and it only took 20 seconds? It's like a personal best. Oh my god. Welcome, Care Pack. Is a polygamy if you choose to marry twins? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It also is really weird at the same time. You imagine Mama Hunter smiling down at you from beyond. No, I don't. Then you realize it's pretty gross to imagine. Her having just watched all of that and you try to stop thinking about it. Yeah. That was incredible. You're telling me! Hey, friend. Sounds like a really good sexy time in there, but can you let us down? We have to wrap things up. The schedule stops for no one, dead or alive. You sigh and shrug. Huntress rolls her eyes. I suppose we can unhook the prey. Claudette and Dwight lead you and Huntress back to the empty beach. You both bask in the glory of being freshly laid. That sounds terrible, doesn't it? Like some sort of laundry detergent. Freshly laid. Actually, maybe that's good. I'll get my agent to start uh, circulating that. The island is strangely quiet. No sarcastic mirrors, disgu disguise uh, disguising his broken young woman from spirit. No strange wide-eyed stares from the socially awkward wraith. No threats of imminent violence from Trapper. Even Claudette and Dwight are tight-lipped. They seem almost zombified. Last day, you beautiful piece of meat, you've done so well. Almost at the finish line. You didn't think I brought you all this way with a plan, did you? Some kind of sinister body of salt. What did you think I am? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wish of dark energy surrounds you and disappears as quickly as it came. Hmm. The island notes begin to return. Uh, birds chirp in their trees, the grass rustles in a light breeze, and oh, look, the other killers are all here at the fire pit to watch the final ceremony. I can't wait any longer. The prompt and cir circumstances agonizing. You're telling me! Stick to the script, Claudette. Okay, so Huntress, how do you feel about the newcomer? Are they everything your murderous little heart has ever longed for? Huntress stares you down for an agonizing moment. She steps towards you. Hey, so... 
I think there's definitely something between us. Hold up, something? Hold up, something? Yeah, something great. Animal magnetism. My legs are the trap and you're the little... Oh, show us a new rabbit running through the underbrush. Whoa, yes I am, ma'am. But it isn't quite soulmate status. Hey! It's not? We must have felt it. Or maybe we were too a little distracting feeling other things, but I'm sorry. What I felt, no matter how spectacular, wasn't love. I see. Well, this doesn't have to be the end. I'd love to tie up in my basin and see where this all goes as friends. Uh, I just got friend zone after fucking. What? No thanks. That's a nice offer, but I think I'm gonna go try and see other people. That's gonna be a new thanks from me. Too late. Huntress is already. Oh, I reconnected. God, what is my internet doing? Besides the loop de loops. Am I back? I don't think you guys caught the end, and I'm really mad about that. <laughs> what the fuck? Did it really cut the ending? It did, didn't it? Oh my god, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put myself on a hook. Not the friend zone ending. If you guys didn't see, which you probably didn't because my internet dropped out. Thanks, internet. I just went, I love you, but not like that. I'm gonna tie you up in my basement and keep you forever. And um, that's exactly what she did. Sweet. That did work. I don't know what's happening to my internet right now. I don't know what is being seen and what isn't being seen. But if you're here and can hear me, thank you for hanging out with me. I will be contacting the internet people ASAP about this because I'm pretty peeved. But thank you for hanging out with me. I'll be live Friday with more Cult to the Lamb. Um, I'm sorry this is how it ended. I'm not sure if it would turn to this game or not, but we'll see. Thank you for hanging out with me and suffering, and I'm sorry you missed the ending. I'm so annoyed that that happened. So fucking annoyed. That's... Ah, whatever. I got friend-zoned, and Anna didn't love me, and I'm sad. But thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I hope I will see you on Friday for Call of the Lamb. Um, please come and paste a raid message if you can. I would be much appreciated. And uh, I will hopefully see you next time. I love you all. Um, sorry for the short stream also. I know this is like way shorter than normal, but... We got an ending, so I'm gonna take it and run. Otherwise, I'm gonna end up with like a six hour stream. But yeah, thanks. And hopefully next time my internet's better. I will see you next time. Goodbye. Yeah.